Chapter 3041 The arrogant boss Long San There were dozens of elders sitting in a palace hall, their expressions gloomy. They were from the Clear River Palace, Silver Moon City, Nine Cauldron Church, and Amethyst Heart Island. Not one of their disciples had returned, so they were here to demand an explanation. Other than them, there was one particular middle-aged man. A sharp light shone in his eyes, and he stood out amongst these elders. This person was not an expert from those four powers. He came from the Chu family as their representative. There was also another particular person in black robes, his cloak covering most of his face. Even so, the wrinkles on his face showed that he was not young. His aura was strange. Sometimes it was there and sometimes it wasn't. It was as if he might vanish at any moment. This was an expert from the Bloodkill Hall. People from the Clear River Palace, Silver Moon City, Nine Cauldron Furnace, Amethyst Heart Island, Chu Family, and Bloodkill Hall had all come. However, even after waiting a long time, no one from the academy came to receive them. Just as they were growing impatient, someone made an announcement. The High Firmament Academy's Heaven Master Long Chen has arrived. The black-robed Long Chen walked in with his hands clasped behind his back. He swaggered in with a large escort. Behind him were Heaven Master Yun Yang, Heaven Master Dong Miang, the head judge, as well as some other higher-ups. Behind them were Luo Bing. Luo Ning, a barely mobile Bei Ziaol, and the others. In front of their astonished gazes, Long Chen swaggered over to those people, looking down on them arrogantly. His expression was one full of disdain. When Long Chen arrived in front of the expert from the Bloodkill Hall, he suddenly swung his hand. It then landed firmly on that person's face. He clearly hadn't expected Long Chen to attack, so his hood was destroyed, revealing an extremely ordinary old face. What is this? To dare conceal yourself in front of boss Long San. Are you tired of living? After slapping him, Long Chen returned to his previous exceedingly arrogant expression. The elder's face swelled. Killing intent exploded out of him. He was one of the higher-ups from the Bloodkill Hall. He hadn't expected this novice to be so brazen. Furthermore, this novice's hand was as quick as lightning, striking without any warning. Even this terrifying assassin that walked the line between life and death was unable to dodge it. Ignorant Junior, do you believe me when I say that I'll kill you right here? Shouted the elder. Do you believe me when I say that if I give the order, all of you will lose your heads here? Sneered Long Chen, completely ignoring his harsh killing intent. Heaven Master Yun Yang told him that he was in charge of receiving these people, so he could do whatever he wanted with them. With so many experts on the level of Heaven Masters guarding him, why would he be afraid? At the same time, he learned that the Academy was not afraid of them at all. The higher-ups just couldn't be bothered with them and didn't want to waste time on them. That was why they let him come out. One reason was that Long Chen was a witness to the events and so had a right to speak. But the other reason was a campaign for him to serve as a foundation for the Nine Prefecture Convention so that he would have certain fame and prestige when he attended. With such a privilege, if he didn't take proper advantage of it, he wouldn't be Long Chen. What are you talking about? One of the Clear River Palace's elders stood up. However, just as he stood, Long Chen slapped him. Unexpectedly, he spun twice through the air before falling. When Boss Long San is speaking, do you think you can just interrupt? Asked Long Chen arrogantly. Heaven Master Yun Yang. Heaven Master Dong Miang, the head judge, and the others exchanged a glance. They were all full of shock. It had to be known that these old fellows were all extremely powerful existences. Their cultivation bases were many levels above Long Chen's, and they all possessed sharp combat instincts as well. However, neither the elder from the Clear River Palace nor the old assassin from the Bloodkill Hall was able to dodge his seemingly ordinary slap. This move was truly shocking. These two slaps fully established Long Chen's dominance. Now, all the experts' expressions changed. Their hands instinctively reached toward their weapons. It seemed that they would attack at any moment. What a pack of fools. I'll give you to the count of three. If you're still in such an idiotic posture, I, Boss Long San, swear to the heavens that not one of you will leave alive, said Long Chen disdainfully. One, two, Long Chen directly started counting. Just as he was about to say three, 
Those experts clenched their teeth and retracted their hands from their weapons. Long Chen sneered. He then swaggered over to the throne of the room, looking down arrogantly on them, crossing his legs. He received a cup of tea from Mu Qingyan. After he took a sip, he indifferently said, Speak, what are you here for? This disdain and arrogance completely infuriated those experts. They didn't know what the High Firmament Academy was doing. Heaven Master Yan Yang and the others made them afraid of attacking. Furthermore, this was the High Firmament Academy's territory, so they didn't dare to run rampant. They had no choice but to accept this humiliation. Who are you to represent the High Firmament Academy? asked the middle-aged man from the Chu family. You look human. So how did you say something so dog-like? I came here just to represent the Academy in resolving its problems. Otherwise, do you think I would be so bored as to accompany a pack of fools like you? Said Long Chen. You, that expert from the Chu family almost coughed up blood. Fine, since you represent the High Firmament Academy, we can talk fairly. We represent Divine Venerate Brahma to ask you where did the High Firmament Academy get the guts to annihilate the experts of the Five Powers, lowering the number of believers of the Divine Venerate. Long Chen smiled. Right at the start, this guy took out the card known as Lord Brahma? Was he trying to scare kids? That's right. The High Firmament Academy must give us an explanation today, shouted an expert from the Silver Moon City. Don't think that the High Firmament Academy is unrivaled. Let me tell you, if you infuriate Divine Venerate Brahma, your High Firmament Academy will be turned to dust, sneered an expert from the Amethyst Heart Island. What nonsense. Who do you think you are? Do you not know how worthless you are? Do you think the High Firmament Academy is full of fools? How can the likes of you represent Divine Venerate Brahma? Let me put it to you this way. I can give the order to kill all of you and Lord Brahma won't say a word to the High Firmament Academy about it. If you don't believe me, let's try it right now. Long Chen patted his throne, and the palace hall's runes lit up. Divine runes condensed into sharp swords pointed at those experts, causing their expressions to change. Chapter 3042 Information on Long Aotian Long Chen had activated the palace hall's formation. Even if the people in front of him were ten times stronger than they were, they would still be instantly wiped out. Those experts' expressions changed. In that instant, all their lives were held in Long Chen's hands. Those sharp swords hovered in the air. With just a single move from Long Chen, all of them would die. Long Chen stood and coldly said, I said that you're nothing more than ants beneath Lord Brahma. Even if I kill you, Lord Brahma won't wage war against the High Firmament Academy. If you don't believe it, then stand up. I'll kill one just to show everyone. We can treat it as an experiment. All right. An experiment? An experiment with their lives? Anyone who wasn't tired of living yet would naturally refuse such an experiment. Their expressions were ugly, but no one dared to make a sound. Luo Bing and the others were standing behind Long Chen and couldn't help finding it funny. As expected, evil people were best handled by even more evil people. Only once he saw that they didn't dare to even fart did he slowly say, You ants really are funny. You conspired to kill my academy's heavenly geniuses. And when your plan was ruined, despite only having yourselves to blame, you actually had the shamelessness to come demand an explanation from the High Firmament Academy. My guess is that there was someone behind the scenes directing you for the strategy in the Jilin Immortal Land. But your current actions are the result of your own intelligence. None of you understand the High Firmament Academy. You don't know just how powerful the High Firmament Academy is. A wily fox wouldn't order a bunch of rabbits to demand an explanation from a tiger. Based on your expressions, I can see that I'm right. Then let me just brazenly guess that amongst your rabbits, the ringleader is this one. Long Chen pointed at the expert from the Chu family, infuriating him. You, you go too far. No, no. Compared to you conspiring to kill our disciples and then demanding an explanation from us, how could anyone dare to say that we're going too far? Long Chen laughed indifferently. Heaven Master Yan Yang and the others nodded inside. If they weren't completely sure about Long Chen's age, they really would suspect he was an old demon inside a youngster's shell. He was in complete control over everyone here, and every word struck them in their vitals. From their subtle changes in expressions, 
it was possible to tell that his guesses were definitely correct. Although these higher-ups had also expected such a thing, they definitely wouldn't be able to act as confidently as Long Chen did about it. Just from this display, they felt that Long Chen would do even better than any of them in the Nine Prefecture Convention. Picking him was the wisest choice. You, shut up. Long Chen shouted suddenly. I don't have time to argue with you. You should bless your luck that I am not the dean. Or ants like you would have been wiped out. Actually, I'd have wiped out your sects already. Lord Brahma's subordinates actually dare to fart in front of me? Who gave you that courage? Long Chen walked up to them, pacing in front of them, pointing at their noses and cursing. All of you are like dogs. Your head's packed with shit. You have faith in Lord Brahma. But Lord Brahma treats you like pawns. You shut you shut up. Long Chen slapped the expert from the Chu family, interrupting and finishing his words. Courting death. That expert's fury soared. But just as his aura rose, dozens of sharp swords pierced his body. Blood speckled the palace. That expert instantly turned still, not daring to move. An ant trying to shake a tree. How laughable. The formation here is able to instantly wipe you out a thousand times. I thought that the Chu family relied on sinister schemes to survive? Why would they produce an idiot like you? Asked Long Chen. At the same time, he sighed in amazement inside over how powerful the academy's formations were. Bei Shishi had told him that he couldn't imagine just how powerful the academy's foundation was. Now, through some clues, he finally saw through a corner of this immense existence. It was truly far stronger than he had expected. However, it had been constantly concealing its power. Long Chen walked over to the Chu family's expert. Just as he was about to slap him a few times, his heart skipped a beat. This aura, from this expert, Long Chen sensed the slightest trace of a barely discernible aura. That aura was incredibly familiar to him. It's the aura of the primal chaos bead. Long Chen instantly thought of Long Aotian. He hadn't killed the latter on the Martial Heaven continent. Instead, he had fed him a poison pill to serve as a marker so that he could lead Long Chen to the Long family. When this Chu family's expert's blood splashed, Long Chen sensed the aura of the primal chaos bead. That was the marker he had placed on Long Aotian. So Long Aotian is likely in the Chu family. Perhaps he is still staying there for a while. Perhaps the Chu family people could counter the poison pill but they were definitely unable to expel the power of the black soil. It seemed that they had used multiple experts to dilute the power of the black soil. As long as the people to absorb it were strong enough and they had enough numbers, the black soil's power would no longer have any effect. The bindings on Long Aotian had actually been undone like this. No wonder Long Chen had been unable to sense what direction Long Aotian was in despite raising his cultivation base. This expert in front of him had definitely helped Long Aotian dispel the poison pill. Long Chen had not expected Long Aotian to be viewed so highly by the Chu family. Interesting. Long Chen smiled sinisterly. He hadn't expected to find a trail toward Long Aotian today. It seemed that he had underestimated Long Aotian. For him to be viewed so importantly, it couldn't just be due to his status. Perhaps his body had some unknown secret. However, he didn't know if Long Aotian would be attending the Nine Prefecture Convention. Long Chen then waved his hands, and those swords retracted from the Chu family's expert's body. His blood once more splattered the palace hall. This is a diplomatic exchange. Killing ants would make others say that we're bullying the weak. So I will simply give you a warning this time. A person can be stupid, but do your best to leave a way out for your descendants at least or you will very likely follow the footsteps of the Golden Bell Gate. The Golden Bell Gate was destroyed, but whoever is directing you didn't even say a word. Yet you had the guts to run over here and be stupid. You really are tired of life. Furthermore, you have your own competitors and your own powers for your positions. I'm sure you're the ones who know the most about that. When you go back, you should think about why you were the ones sent here, and not them. Using your lives to test the attitude of the academy. Haha, <laughs> it seems your higher-ups really value you. Laughed Long Chen. His last words caused their expressions to change. They seemed to think of something. Scram. Long Chen lazily waved his hand. As a result, those people hastily slipped away like a pack of beaten dogs. Not even daring to raise their heads. Well done. Once those people left, 
Heaven Master Yan Yang and the others clapped for Long Chen. He had handled things perfectly. He had given them a vicious lesson but also knew not to go too far. Junior was just messing around. Long Chen said some courteous words. He was about to say something to Heaven Master Yan Yang when another elder suddenly ran in and handed a golden card to Heaven Master Yan Yang. Looking at the card, he smiled slightly and handed it to Long Chen. The invitation card to the Nine Prefecture Convention has arrived. The High Firmament Academy's instructor course will be depending on you to win us some face. Chapter 3043 Wood Foundation Divine Fruit The Golden Invitation Card had some information on the Nine Prefecture Convention, including the time, length, and location. It also requested a reply detailing the number of people from the Academy participating in the Tao discussion and the martial competition. The martial competition is two months from now? It's so soon. Long Chen was surprised. Time always felt like it was slipping past him quickly. These two months were quite a short time for the current Long Chen. Your cultivation base is growing too slowly. With such a cultivation base, to tell the truth, we don't really recommend that you participate in the martial competition, said Heaven Master Dong Ming. The Nine Prefecture Convention would be a gathering of heavenly geniuses. At that time, those heavenly geniuses would have their cultivation bases at the peak of the Divine Flame Realm. But Long Chen was still in the initial Divine Flame Realm. He hadn't even reached the first heaven stage. In the Divine Flame Realm, every single level caused one's power to change immensely. The Nine Prefecture Convention would be full of powerful opponents, and there might even be awakened primals. Long Chen's realm was too low to fight them. After all, the likes of Zhao Wuzhang, Zixian Iu, Lu Chunyang, and the others would only be second-rate experts. Even Bei Shishi would only be classified as being in the front ranking, and a primal that had awakened their bloodline would be a first-rate expert. No matter what Long Chen did during these two months, there was no way that his cultivation base could catch up. Heaven Master Dong Ming seemed to be saying that Long Chen should focus on the Tao discussion and simply give up on the martial competition. Heaven Master Dong Ming, are you not worried about the Battle God Palace causing trouble for you if you say such a thing? said the head judge with a smile. Heaven Master Dong Ming coughed awkwardly and said, Of course, this is just a suggestion. You can decide for yourself. After all, the martial competition was arranged by the Battle God Palace. They wouldn't be happy with Heaven Master Dong Ming if he persuaded Long Chen to back out. Long Chen smiled slightly. Senior's words are heavy. Junior is well aware of the problem. However, I can't miss such a good opportunity. Victory is victory. Defeat is defeat. If I am defeated, I will be able to see where I am lacking. That's not a bad thing. Excellent. Such an attitude is good said Heaven Master Dong Ming. Senior Yan Yang, can you introduce me to the senior who healed me? I want to properly thank her. I also want her to teach me some things, said Long Chen. The one who had healed him this time was Heaven Master Yan Yang's senior apprentice sister. It seemed that her position in the academy had to be quite high. She didn't usually reveal herself. However, she healed him to give Heaven Master Yan Yang face. This person was an extremely powerful wood cultivator. Originally, Long Chen had thought that fallen day nights god will couldn't be wiped out by external forces. However, she had easily done so. Furthermore, Long Chen had sensed an extremely primal wood energy in her. He thought of a certain possibility, so he requested to meet her. After that, Heaven Master Yan Yang brought him to an immortal cave. After reporting their arrival and obtaining permission, Long Chen entered. The middle-aged woman seemed to have a smile in her eyes. It was as if she was seeing through his heart. What kind of benefits are you looking for this time? Long Chen was surprised to have his intentions read. He said, Junior felt that seniors wood energy should be a kind of source energy amongst the trees of the world. Thus, I wish to ask senior whether it is possible for me to obtain the object of that source. You're very impressed to be able to tell that my wood energy isn't ordinary after a single healing. When I was young, I had a fortuitous encounter and found a wood foundation divine fruit. Using its essence, I was able to change my bloodline, awakening the wood foundation divine radiance. Thus, my wood energy is different from other wood cultivators. 
Wood Foundation Divine Radiance. You, you are a primal, asked Long Chen. Someone who could awaken a divine radiance could only be a primal. She nodded. I can barely count as an acquired primal since this talent was not innate to me. After I absorbed the fruit, the pit was all that remained. There are four seeds in the pit containing its essence. Consuming a single one can heal someone on the border of death. If you want one, I can give you one. But if you want more, then I can't. Just one is enough. Long Chen was delighted. He hadn't expected the senior to be so generous and directly give him something so precious. The Wood Foundation Divine Tree was from ancient times. Its wood was extremely tough. Tougher than metal. The wooden spears made from it were often used as weapons. However, its growth was extremely slow. It took 30 million years to flower, 30 million years to bear fruit, and 30 million years for the fruit to mature. From its birth to its fruit being ripe took 90 million years. In the current era, this tree was almost extinct. It could not be found in the outside world. There were only some sects that had some, and they were viewed as their priceless treasures. They were often kept secret as well in order to avoid others growing covetous. Long Chen obtained a peanut-sized seed that looked like a cashew nut. It emitted an immense amount of life energy. Those fluctuations refreshed him, filling him with energy. It was as if his longevity was increasing just by holding it. This was the seed of the Wood Foundation Divine Tree. Long Chen profusely thanked the senior before leaving. At his residence, he carefully planted it in the primal chaos space. After that, Long Chen's 108,000 stars circulated, sending divine energy into the primal chaos space. The medicinal plants inside crazily grew. Time seemed to have increased by tens of thousands of times. After gaining control of his divine flames, he could once more urge the growth of the plants in the primal chaos space. But after two hours, he was sweating. This was extremely taxing. However, he was delighted to find that the wood foundation divine tree had taken root. A tiny soft shoot had appeared out of the ground, standing up like a chopstick and continuing to grow. Once it reached a height of three meters, it was the thickness of an egg but still remained one single, straight stick. It didn't have any leaves or branches. Breaking this sapling, he found that it was extremely heavy in his hand, like steel. It was very tough despite this being its weakest sapling state. Long Chen broke it into pieces and planted half a foot tall rods into the soil again. After another hour, a radiant smile appeared on his face. Small saplings were now growing. Long Chen then spent a whole day and night breaking and planting the wood foundation divine trees. His primal chaos space was now full of saplings. Haha, <laughs> now I don't need to worry about being injured. Once they're grown up, what will I have to fear? Long Chen clenched his fists an excited light in his eyes. Once they bloomed and bore fruit, he would essentially have an undying body. After that, Long Chen took out a long and thin strand. This was the divine whisker daffodil's whisker. He, two months? It's time to increase my cultivation base. Long Chen took out his medicinal furnace and got to work. Chapter 3044 Fifth A Vestige of Divine Flame The pill furnace shuddered, and its runes lit up before gradually going out. Long Chen smiled. Moon Refiner, your control is growing greater and greater. It really is great having you too. Huo Long and Moon Refiner were working together flawlessly. With Long Chen as well, practically not even a trace of the medicinal pill's energy leaked out. Their cooperation was so perfect that it couldn't even be described with words. The pill furnace opened, and nine round medicinal pills appeared before Long Chen. They were dark and gloomy, almost looking dirty. They looked like medicinal balls, not medicinal pills. However, when he picked one up, he applied a bit of force, and that layer of grime shattered, revealing a crystalline pill. Within it were some slender life forms moving about. They were like tiny dragons swimming through the sea, as expected of the divine whisker daffodil. With it as the main ingredient, the divine whisker flame spirit pills is extremely gentle. The water dragon power within it can completely absorb the medicinal energy without the slightest waste. Normally, the flame spirit pill is explosive and violent, but with the addition of the divine whisker daffodil, that wild beast became an obedient rabbit. It's truly a priceless treasure. Sighed Long Chen. The divine whisker daffodil's effect was marvelous. 
It even surpassed his expectations. This pill, which was used to explosively raise a person's realm in the divine flame realm, normally had negative side effects. Other than a body being able to only absorb a limited amount of its power, the flame poison contained in the pill was particularly harmful. Consuming it in large amounts was taboo. The flame poison would attack the heart and invade the soul. Done badly, it could only lead to bedevilment. However, with the addition of the divine whisker daffodil, the medicinal pill became extremely gentle, and no matter how many were consumed, there was no worry about flame poison. While water and flame could subdue each other, when used properly, they could actually support each other as well. The mysteries behind this phenomenon were still unclear to Long Chen. Long Chen consumed one of the divine whisker flame spirit pills. It melted the moment it entered his throat and spread throughout every inch of his body. His 108,000 stars quivered slightly, and absorbed that energy. A portion of the divine whisker flame spirit pill's energy nourished his physical body, while another portion nourished his 108,000 stars. Long Chen could clearly feel his physical strength slowly rising. However, the energy that went to his stars was clearly insignificant. It was unable to even cause a ripple. It seems that the nine-star hegemon body art also knows that my physical body isn't strong enough. The majority of the energy is sent to my physical body to strengthen it, while only a small portion strengthens the stars. Long Chen consumed all nine pills, and found that his 108,000 stars didn't change in the slightest afterwards. That made Long Chen sigh. Perhaps the amount of pills that he would require in the divine flame realm would be unprecedented. After all. Nothing like this had happened before, where consuming nine top-grade pills resulted in no discernible change. Long Chen refined pills as he consumed them. When he had consumed over 300 pills, his 108,000 stars finally shuddered. The flame seedlings on his stars split in two. Divine flame energy burst forth, and if Long Chen didn't control it, that explosive aura would have destroyed this room that he was in. Second Havenstage of Divine Flame Long Chen's heart shook. His divine flames didn't grow with each realm. Instead, they split. Another ball of flames appeared on every star. Despite there being double the amount of divine flames, he sensed that his divine flame had multiplied many times. That power made even Long Chen feel fear. Is this heaven defying? Advancing one heaven stage results in the divine flame power multiplying in his battle against Chu Yang. Long Chen had unleashed his full power several times, but even when the Danite Divine Radiance appeared, he still had most of his Divine Flame energy. If it was then multiplied with every advancement, his Divine Flame power would essentially be endless. He would never be able to use it all. With this, there's no need to worry about running out of Divine Flame energy. I can freely unleash my ultimate moves instead of spending them thriftily like money. Long Chen clenched his fists his eyes blazing with excitement. In the past, when he fought with enemies, the first thing to do was to get a grasp of the circumstances to make sure every bit of energy was used properly, avoiding the case where a miscalculation resulted in him not having enough energy and being defeated. He was undefeated because he didn't dare be defeated. Just one defeat would be the end. Thus, a constant worry for him was using up all his energy. However, now he didn't need to worry about it any longer. During the next few days, Long Chen spent all his time refining and consuming pills. The Divine Whisker Flame Divine Pill had no side effects, and he could eat it like food without any negative side effects to his body. A full 10 days passed. Long Chen managed to firmly raise his cultivation base all the way to the 5th heaven stage. His 108,000 stars had 5 clumps of flames above each of them. At this level, he was no longer able to contain his aura. He had no choice but to stop. When he broke through, all the stones and trees around him were blasted apart. He spent three days outside just pulling in his aura until it was under control. Now he needed to consolidate his realm. Although the nine-star hegemon body art never resulted in his foundation growing unstable, allowing him to freely raise his realm, if he couldn't actually control it, then there was no point that would actually lower his combat power. It would create weaknesses in the middle of combat. He had to be able to control his power in order to properly use it. After advancing to the fifth heaven stage, he temporarily stopped raising his realm. 
He had Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace continue refining pills. He went to see Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, Li Kei, and the others. He gave them two treasure divine whisker flame spirit pills. For a high level pill like this, even for Long Chen, refining treasure pills was very difficult. If he was lucky, then he would get one or two treasure pills every dozen furnaces of pills he refined. They were very precious. The 10,000 divine whisker flame spirit pills he had consumed were only ordinary spirit pills. Here in the immortal world, it was possible to refine pills above ordinary spirit pills. Treasure pills were above spirit pills, and contained the profundities of the heavenly deos. Even for masters of alchemy, it required luck to refine them. When it came to low-level pills, treasure pills weren't all too rare. But for the divine whisker flame spirit pill, it was exceedingly rare for a treasure pill to appear. Their effect was tens of times greater than a spirit pill. They also contained the essence of the heavenly deos, increasing the consumer's comprehension of them. Above treasure pills were golden pills, but those weren't sold on the marketplace. They were too rare. They were priceless commodities. As for their effect, there weren't many people who knew of them. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others were around the fourth and fifth heaven stages. When they consumed one of the treasure divine whisker flame spirit pills, the immense power made them cry out in shock. Chapter 3045 A useless piece of trash The divine flames within Luo Bing and the others' bodies shuddered three times. Vast divine flame energy erupted and gushed throughout their bodies. They advanced three heaven stages in a row. Luo Bing's original cultivation base had reached the fifth heaven stage. Now, she instantly soared to the eighth. Her expression completely changed. It had to be known that her cultivation path had always been a steady, step-by-step -step advancement. Every single heaven stage had to be advanced through steadily. She had never had any consecutive advancements, let alone three in a row. Such a rapid advancement would definitely result in her foundation growing unsteady. But she quickly realized that even after consuming the pill, the vast medicinal energy continued to circulate through her body. Her current realm was even more solid and steady than before the advancement, shocking her. Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, Li Kei, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others went through similar reactions. They didn't dare to believe it. It felt like they were in a dream. This world actually had such a heaven-defying medicine? Seeing them instantly advance like this, Long Chen couldn't help being envious. For them, advancing was so simple. But for him, it was as difficult as ascending the heavens. He would probably need 10,000 pills at a minimum to advance. This should be enough for you to reach the peak of the divine flame realm. That way, you'll get better results during the Nine Prefecture Convention. Luo Bing, send two pills to Bei Shishi as well. Long Chen gave Luo Bing two more pills. Why not send them yourself? Asked Luo Bing with a smile. That girl is very proud. If she refuses, I'm not able to endure that awkward atmosphere. You give them to her, and if she doesn't want them, you can give them to whoever you want, said Long Chen, shrugging. Bei Shishi was extremely proud, and aloof. Long Chen wasn't very comfortable around her, so he didn't want to go see her. Luo Bing and the others had advanced so quickly that they couldn't advance again for a short time. Just like Long Chen, they had to get used to their new power. Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others went into seclusion to get used to their new power. Luo Bing smiled, and without saying anything further, left with the medicinal pills. As for Long Chen, he called over Bei Ziaol. He gave him three medicinal pills and told him to consume one every day. After arranging things for Bei Ziaol, Long Chen dove into the Divine Scripture Pavilion. He consumed a huge amount of knowledge. In any case, he couldn't raise his realm any higher, and Huo Long and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace were handling the pills. The Nine Prefecture Convention's Tao discussion would be a gathering of old monsters proficient in all kinds of areas. Although Long Chen didn't plan on winning any impressive prize for this, he couldn't be too embarrassing. After all, it was because he had agreed to represent the Academy in the Tao discussion that he had free access to the Academy's books. He had to at least put in some effort. Furthermore, this knowledge was also useful to him. For example, in the Jilin Immortal Land, he had recognized several things that others hadn't. 
and was even able to state those things' origins and uses, that gave him a large sense of accomplishment. The divine whisker daffodil, the heavenly stone spirit race, they were all things that he had read about in the Academy's books. Sometimes knowledge that seemed useless could become the golden key to changing his fate. With his monstrous spiritual strength, Long Chen crazily absorbed this knowledge. On the third day, Luo Bing ran over in a panic. Brother San, not good. Xiaol, he, he has a terrible headache and seems to have gone insane. Long Chen hastily rushed back to the Luo Gate's headquarters. Bei Xiaol was clutching his head and rolling on the ground, screaming. His eyes were scarlet as if he had been bedeviled. Brother San, he can't seem to hear anything that I say. Touching him only makes him scream in pain, reported Mu Qingyan anxiously. It's fine. Protect me. Don't let anyone get close. Long Chen comforted everyone and had them calm down. He walked over to Bei Xiaol's side and sat him up. Bei Xiaol screamed miserably. Three small dots of light flowed in his eyes. It was both strange and terrifying. It was as if he had been lost in a terrifying nightmare. Ignoring his screams, Long Chen forcibly crossed his legs in the lotus position, while he himself also sat in lotus position. What has happened to my son? Just at this moment, a large man barged in, roaring furiously. He was the master of the battle god palace, Bei Ziyadol's father, Bei Zhantang. Seeing his current state, he roared. What did you do to him? Shut up. Your voice is making my ears ring, scolded Long Chen. You, Bei's Hantang was about to curse him when space twisted, and two women appeared. One of them was Bei Ziyadol's mother, while the other was also a beauty with a difficult-to-describe majesty. She wore a golden dress. Runes flowed around her, giving her a graceful and elegant appearance. She bore an 80% resemblance to Bei Shishi. Bei Ziyadol's mother grabbed Bei's Hantang. Although she was also aggrieved at seeing Bei Ziyadol's state, she said, Don't panic. Ziyadol's three flower pupils are erupting ahead of time. Long Chen is thinking of something. This bastard. Why didn't he say anything? Bei's Hantang was still enraged. What do you know? Your method of helping raise Ziyadol's cultivation base did allow his cultivation base to advance. But due to his fear of you, you left behind a heart devil, and made him look down on himself. If you have no ability, then don't shout and scream. Other than marrying two beautiful wives, you are a useless piece of trash. Cursed Long Chen. He placed a hand on Bei Ziyadol's back, and stars appeared behind him. You little. Bei's Hantang's fury soared, and he had an urge to beat Long Chen. But his two wives smiled. Long Chen's way of praising them was truly original. Just at this moment, Bei Ziyadol's screams vanished. The three dots in his eyes seemed to suddenly be suppressed. Bei's Hantang stopped speaking. He was shocked. Looking at Long Chen, he saw that his eyes were pitch black. It was as if some hidden power was currently controlling the three flower pupils. Bei's Hantang looked towards Bei Ziyadol's mother, and she merely shook her head slightly, indicating not to talk. Stars flowed out of Long Chen's palm, wrapping around Bei Ziyadol's body. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes. When he once more opened them, Bei's Hantang and the others jumped in shock. How can this be? Chapter 3046 Duplicated Three Flower Pupils Three dots of light had appeared within Long Chen's eyes, the exact same as Bei Ziyadol's eyes. How can he have the three flower pupils as well? Bei's Hantang was filled with disbelief. The three flower pupils are an innate divine ability. Other than a primal, it's impossible to acquire this ability. Long Chen isn't a primal nor has he cultivated pupil arts. He is most likely manifesting the three flower pupils based on Ziyadol, said Bei Ziyadol's mother. The three dots of light slowly spun in Long Chen's eyes, while Bei Ziyadol's eyes, which were the original, were slowly affected. After an hour, those lights in Bei Ziyadol's eyes gradually came under Long Chen's control. This, seeing this, Bei's Hantang shuddered. Bei Ziyadol's mother held his hand, smiling. Suddenly, the three dots in Long Chen's layered together, forming a three-flower image. Bei Ziyadol's eyes did the same. His aura grew explosively, and space started twisting. Luo Bing and the others felt the world spinning around them, as if heaven and earth had been inverted. When the spatial twisting stopped, Bei Ziyadol was lying on the ground, asleep. The moment that he fell, 
The three flower design in Long Chen's eyes suddenly transformed from white to black. In that moment, Bei Ziyol's mother's expression changed, forming one handed seals. A mirror appeared in front of Long Chen. That mirror had only just appeared when two rays of black light shot out of Long Chen's eyes. The black rays reflected off of the mirror and into the roof. A three meter thick hole silently appeared in the roof. The hole was perfectly round and smooth, as if someone had meticulously carved it and polished it. Everyone felt a chill. If that was the result of some explosion, perhaps it wouldn't be so chilling. But the fact that this hole just silently appeared with a flash of light was a bizarre feeling. As for the spatial mirror that Bezaiol's mother had condensed, a black hole was left chaired into it. The spatial mirror slowly collapsed and vanished, as if nothing had happened. But the hole remaining in the roof still gave people chills. Does the three flower pupil have such a divine ability? asked Bez Han Tang. No, this isn't the power of the three flower pupil. The three flower pupil only has spatial energy. It has no destructive power, said Bezaiol's mother. At this moment, Long Chen's eyes were closed, and he wasn't saying a word. A sharp pain made it impossible for him to open his eyes. The three flower pupils were no secret. Many books had records of them, as well as how to use them. Using the nine-star hegemon body art as the foundation, he had also managed to condense the three flower pupils. However, once he managed to condense them, black energy deep inside his eyes instantly poured through the three flower pupils destroying them. At the same time, power leaked out. That power was what Bezaiol's mother had blocked. That black energy was something he had felt before. In the final battle of the Martial Heaven continent, he had used it to wipe out the final nine underworld hunter, and then following his power backwards, he had witnessed Lord Brahma. Later, he was saved by the dragon expert, and only then did he learn that this power was called the Purgatory Eyes. The dragon expert had sealed this power for him. However, this seal was temporary. It could not be maintained forever. The longer it was sealed, the more berserk this power would grow. It would eventually devour his mind. Every time he was angered, this dark energy would start to grow active. He found it harder and harder to control his emotions. The desire to kill also grew stronger. When he encountered Bezaiol, he had thought to himself that if he could learn eye techniques, it might be possible to unleash this black energy. However, he hadn't expected this black energy to be so berserk that as soon as he condensed the three flower pupils, it would destroy them. He hadn't even had a chance to control it before it was over. After a long time, Long Chen finally opened his eyes. His eyes were scarlet with red lines filling them. It was a bit frightening. Brat, thank you. Bei's Han Tang spit out some thanks. Long Chen looked at Bei's Han Tang. Bei's Han Tang shook his head. You don't need to be emotional that you cry over my thanks. Bastard. Long Chen cursed. How was this from emotion? These involuntary tears were from the pain in his eyes. Bei's Han Tang laughed. It seemed he was very pleased with Long Chen's teary appearance. Long Chen rubbed his eyes and circulated the primal chaos space energy to recover. However, he found that for some reason. The primal chaos space's energy was unable to heal this wound. Bei Ziyol's mother didn't know if she was supposed to laugh when she saw Long Chen's state that was like a kitten pawing its head. She was barely able to control herself and said, Long Chen, many thanks. Now that Ziyol's three flower pupils have been activated, they will start merging with his bloodline. In the future, he can cultivate himself. You've helped us resolve this problem which has plagued our hearts for many years. Truly, many thanks. It had to be known that every time she saw Bei's Han Tang beating Bei Ziyol, her heart shattered. Now that he could cultivate himself, she felt that even if she had to die, it was worth it. She bowed deeply to Long Chen. Long Chen hastily stopped her. He couldn't receive such courtesy. Senior, Ziyol has recognized me as boss. I naturally have to treat him as a brother. When my brother is in trouble, as his boss, I naturally must help. Unlike some people, I won't randomly shout and fail to do anything proper. Curiously, Bei's Han Tang smiled despite knowing that Long Chen was talking about him. Long Chen investigated Bei Ziyol's state and found that it had gone as he had expected. Nothing was wrong with him, putting him at ease. Long Chen suddenly noticed that at some point, 
Beishishi had also arrived, but she was standing at the very rear. Shishi, since you've come, shouldn't you greet your father and mother? The other woman beside Bei's hand tang beckoned. All I know is that I have a mother. As for a father, well, it doesn't matter. Your daughter will be returning to her cultivation. Bei Shishi bowed to the woman, but didn't even glance at Bei's hand tang. Haha, <laughs> great minds truly think alive. This father of yours really is useless. Why don't you take me as your started Long Chen? Scram. Bei Shishi instantly frowned and spit out a single word. Let me finish. You should take me as your boss. I'll help you stand tall in the future. Finished Long Chen. Scram. Bei Shishi once more spit out a single word before leaving. However, just as she reached the exit, she suddenly paused. Thank you for your medicinal pills. I will return this favor. After that, she left, looking in the direction that she went, then looking at Long Chen. Bei Shishi's mother smiled a strange smile. Chapter 3047 Future Son-in-Law with Bei Ziaol's Problem Resolved Bei Zhantang and his wife felt a heavy weight fall off their shoulders. However, Bei Ziaol was still in slumber and couldn't be disturbed. Only when he woke naturally would they know the exact situation. Hence, Long Chen returned to the Divine Scripture Pavilion. When Bei Ziaol woke up on the third day, the three flower pupils were finally fully manifested within his eyes. After awakening, Bei Ziaol seemed to have been enlightened. He was constantly forming hand seals and summoning one spatial art after another. Bei Ziaol asked Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others to exchange blows with him. They were shocked to find that after awakening the three flower pupils, Bei Ziaol's divine abilities were practically heaven defying. With a single look, Space was torn apart. Hence, they hastily called a stop to the fight, afraid that he might accidentally kill them. Based on Luo Bing's calculation, when Bei Ziaol fully mastered his eye arts, his combat power might not be much lower than Bei Shishi's. After awakening the three flower pupils, Bei Ziaol went on a rampage, challenging everyone to a battle to test out his new abilities. But it wasn't more than a few days before someone beat him black and blue and he came crying to Long Chen. When Long Chen asked him what had happened, he had an urge to slap him. Bei Ziaol really thought that he was unrivaled after awakening the three flower pupils. He actually went to find Bei's Hantang for revenge. As a result, he was given another beating quickly and easily. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to deal with that. He had spent these days memorizing everything he could in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. He had a splitting headache and needed to digest this new information noveloon.com after two days. His headache diminished and after a few days of calmness, his aura stabilized. After thinking about it, he decided that he should raise his realm again. That way, he could raise his realm and then stabilize it while reading books. However, on the next day, Bezaiol returned to him. He was truly tenacious. After being beaten so badly by his father, he refused to give up and challenged his father again. Of course, the result was just as miserable as the last time. Boss, you have to help me get revenge. He's too arrogant. He said that even if we joined together, we wouldn't be able to overcome a single finger from him. How can we endure such a thing? Cried out Bei Ziaol. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. He said, go ask your father if he dares to have a fight where he doesn't use his realm to suppress others and we all purely use your physical bodies and fighting skills. All right. Bei Ziaol was delighted and immediately ran off. He returned just a short moment later. Boss, that arrogant fellow said that no matter what kind of method we use, he'll accept. Hearing that, Long Chen was delighted. He had precisely been thinking about a problem that he couldn't resolve normally. Now it was perfect. Let's go. Ah, wait a moment. I'm changing clothes after two hours. Long Chen and Bei Ziaol returned with battered faces. Long Chen's chest even had specks of blood on it, and the clothes he had switched into were destroyed. One of Bei Ziaol's eyes was swollen shut, and his mouth was deformed, but his chest was sticking up as if he had won. Seeing the two of them in this state, Luo Bing and the others jumped in shock. Just who was able to beat Long Chen considering how strong he was? Boss really is the boss. We ended up in a draw this time. Next time, we'll definitely have the advantage Bei Ziaol cried out excitedly. 
When Luo Bing and the others heard their stories, they were shocked. Only then did they learn that the two of them had gone to challenge the master of the battle god palace. Two against one, they had still been beaten. Baziol really knew how to cause trouble. How did he even get someone as smart as Long Chen drawn into this mess? That was the master of the battle god palace. Someone at the peak of the academy. Long Chen and Bei Ziyol had challenged him to a fight? Were they not asking for a beating? Pah! Those two brats. Bei's Hantang spat out some blood. Cursing. He sat alone at the top of a mountain, which was now a complete mess from their battle. He had two large lumps on his head, and his lips were split open. Moreover, his nose was still bleeding. His state was just as bad as Long Chen and Bei Ziyol's. If the battle god palace's experts were to see this, they definitely wouldn't believe it. The undefeatable existence in their hearts had actually been turned into this state. Ha ha ha. Just at this moment, two beautiful women walked over. They were Bei Ziyol and Bei Shishi's mothers. Our mighty palace master was actually beaten into this state by two babies. That would definitely cause quite a few people to collapse if they learned of it. Laughed Bei Ziyol's mother. Bei's Hantang glared at her. Wasn't it all your idea? I only ended up like this because I suppressed my cultivation base. Wasn't this very fair? You cultivate the heavenly Vajra on breaking body. Even if you suppress your cultivation base, you should be far stronger than two amateurs in the divine flame realm, said Bei Shishi's mother, also laughing. That Long Chen is a monster. His power is immense, but most hateful of all, when he attacks. A trace of his divine flame power leaks out, ruining my defenses. That wasn't fair at all, raged Bei's Hantang. He's been rapidly increasing his cultivation base, so he can't stop his divine flame energy from leaking. It's the result of a lack of control, not intentional. Didn't he gradually manage to control it in the end so that it stopped leaking? Don't get angry. Long Chen helped Bei Ziyol activate his three flower pupils. So you no longer need to use such violent means to store energy in his body. We owe him a huge debt. Long Chen wants to rapidly increase his realm. And by sparring with him, you're helping him consolidate his realm much faster. It can count as returning the favor. Bei Ziyol also needs more combat experience after awakening his eye art since Long Chen wants to bring him to the Nine Prefecture Convention. Helping him get stronger is helping your son. What? Are you not happy about that? Demanded Bei Ziyol's mother. Of course I'm happy with that. But that bastard Long Chen's fighting style is completely sinister. It's completely against the norm. There were several times when I even misjudged his moves. Ah, it really pisses me off. Cursed Bei's Hantang. He had never encountered such a difficult opponent. Close range combat was his specialty but he hadn't expected to encounter an entirely new fighting style in Long Chen. Adding on Bei Ziyol interfering with his eye arts, Bei's Hantang ended up falling for their tricks several times, infuriating him. Ah, if you have to suffer a bit, then just endure it. Why quibble with children? One is your own son, while the other is your future son-in-law, said Bei Shishi's mother profoundly. What? That bastard dares to have intentions on my daughter. I'll kill him. Chapter 3048 Profound Cultivation Every few days, Long Chen and Bei Ziyol would go to challenge Bei's Hantang. This master of the battle god palace truly had unimaginable power. Long Chen was also aware that Bei's Hantang did this to help him and Bei Ziyol grow stronger. However, no one bothered directly saying it, instead keeping up the pretense of revenge for Bei Ziyol. To be able to fight against a terrifying expert like Bei's Hantang, even if he was suppressing his cultivation base, just his gaze and aura were enough to give Long Chen immense mental and spiritual pressure. Exchanging blows with him allowed Long Chen's divine flame energy to quickly grow more solid. Hence, Long Chen only consumed pills and fought. In just five days, he advanced two Heaven stages, reaching the seventh Heaven stage of the divine flame realm. That was the late divine flame realm. Every star now had seven clumps of flames. And as his cultivation base grew, his physical body also rapidly strengthened, which resulted in Bei's Hantang finding it harder and harder to fight him. Moreover, Long Chen's fighting moves were treacherous, and even Bei's Hantang would suffer if he slipped up. That was especially the case with his own son. 
Bezaiol, working against him. He had no choice but to secretly circulate his bloodline power to block Long Chen's attacks. Long Chen needed to use Bei's Hantang's power to temper himself, which allowed his aura to rapidly condense so that he could make a breakthrough to the next realm. Time slipped by quickly. One month passed just like this. Long Chen's cultivation base had reached the ninth heaven stage, but he didn't encounter any barrier. He now confirmed that his divine flame realm would also have 13 heaven stages as always. After reaching the peak of the ninth heaven stage, he ran out of medicinal pills. From the 8th to 9th heaven stage, he had consumed over 30,000 divine whisker flame spirit pills. Over 500 of those had been treasure pills. Without enough medicinal pills, Long Chen temporarily stopped cultivating and continued fighting with Bei's Hantang, stabilizing his realm. With a single punch, divine flames raged, and even Bei's Hantang had to be careful against him. Bei's idol was also very powerful now. His spatial arts were well practiced. Long Chen even taught him a few treacherous tricks that made Bei's Hantang suffer several times. At that time, he cursed them furiously. But inside, he was delighted. Seeing his son advancing every day made him ecstatic. As for Bei's idol, he had gotten revenge and was more excited than anyone. Furthermore, he was improving daily thanks to the experience of fighting alongside Long Chen, a monster with immense combat experience. During this time, Bei Ziyol also went to challenge Bei Shishi. However, Bei Shishi ignored him. That made him grow even more arrogant and think that she was afraid of him. He swaggered through the roads Novaloon.com The Nine Prefecture Convention was still half a month away. And at this moment, Long Chen and Bei Ziyol finally stopped challenging Bei's Hantang. Long Chen needed to think. It had almost been a year since he had arrived in the High Firmament Academy. During this year, it felt like he had gained a great deal. But it also felt like he had gained nothing at all. He walked over to the entrance of the Academy. Thinking of his state when he first joined the Academy, he was filled with various emotions. I wonder how everyone is? Are they doing well? Standing at that gate, Long Chen looked at the endless mountain ranges around him and couldn't help feeling mournful. Everyone had been apart for so long. They were his greatest support, but he didn't even have any news about them. Meng Chi, Chu Yang, Wan Er, Ming Gaiu, Zi Yan, Zhikyu, Ziaokian, Ruian, Cloud, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Ming Guan, Zifeng, Xia Chen, Guo Ran, Wild, Mo Nian. Long Chen muttered their names. Their faces appeared in his mind, and he was lost in sentiment. He also thought of the netherworlds Len Yuian and Mian Kangayu, as well as the pill fairy who had died for him. Long Chen suddenly felt like he had far too many things he needed to do. All of these things were connected together. Right now, his first priority was to spread his name through the Nine Prefecture Convention. The name of Boss Long San would shake the entire immortal world and he trusted that they would find ways to gather with him once they received word of him. Although he had made many friends in the High Firmament Academy, he still felt lonely. He wanted to see them. Suddenly, the sound of a broom sweeping drew him out of his emotions. He once more saw the sweeping elder. Senior, what a coincidence Long Chen hastily went over and greeted him. The sweeping elder smiled and stopped his actions. Youngster, are you homesick? Yes. Very much so, Long Chen nodded. The elder said, It seems that you've made your preparations to welcome even greater challenges. Yes, I'm prepared. With them present, I have unlimited confidence, said Long Chen. For some reason, when Long Chen faced this mysterious elder, he felt a rare sense of ease and a strange sense of confidence. Long Chen didn't need to conceal anything in front of him. Senior, let me help you. Long Chen reached his hand out for the broom. Last time, the elder had refused him, saying that he wasn't qualified to sweep. With your current mental realm, it seems that you can try it. Unexpectedly, the elder smiled and handed the broom to him. When he received the broom, he found that it seemed to be made of ordinary wood and grass. However, this elder had clearly been using it for a long time, and there was zero wear and tear. It seemed that this elder was wrapping it in some kind of energy when sweeping. Hence, Long Chen also wrapped it in his spiritual strength and lightly swept with it. When his soul swept over the ground, his body quivered. 
A feeling that he had never felt before pierced deep into his soul. It was as if the broom was not just sweeping across the ground, but also sweeping through his soul. Long Chen felt the earth's heartbeat. All the feelings of sweeping the ground were transmitted to his soul. How does it feel? The elder smiled. Excellent when your mood is good. The entire world becomes bright. When your mood is bad, the world becomes dark. In truth, what decides whether this world is beautiful or ugly is not the world itself, but your own heart. The heart can easily be covered in dust. Occasionally sweep it and you will find that when the dust flies, you will be able to see wider and deeper. You will also be able to see yourself, said the elder slowly. Many thanks for your pointers, senior. Junior understands. If the heart is covered in dust, it means that desires have clouded the eyes, that anger is raging through the soul. With the heart not being clear, it is impossible to see. Without being able to see, every single step is difficult. Only by seeing yourself clearly, using the self as a mirror, can you see further, said Long Chen. Well done, child. The elder nodded and smiled with satisfaction. He slowly left. As for Long Chen, he continued to lightly sweep the ground. Through the elder's pointers, he swept up the leaves, revealing the clean ground. It felt as if the vexations of his heart were being wiped away, as if the dust of his mind was being cleaned. He felt refreshed. It felt as if his mental state had risen just from sweeping. Long Chen had never expected that such a simple action could be such a profound cultivation. The Tao was truly unfathomable. There were no major or minor Daos. All things could lead to becoming one with the world. Hey, little fellow, come over here. I have something to ask you. Just as Long Chen was immersed in that beautiful feeling, a sharp and thin voice rang out. It was like a duck cry, not a pleasant sound for Long Chen. Chapter 3049 Nine Flower Envoy A group of dozens of young men and women had appeared at the gates to the academy. There was a particular mark on their chests. Also, their clothes were completely different from what the academy's disciples wore. This group of people looked around, and seeing only a sweeper in broken down clothes, they pointed and called out to him. Long Chen was in the midst of sweeping when he was disturbed. It was like a rock had been thrown on a calm lake. The ripples completely broke his beautiful feeling, and he couldn't help frowning. The current Long Chen now understood why the elder had previously said that his realm wasn't high enough to sweep before this. He was currently trying to grasp that feeling. It was a much higher realm and difficult to grasp. Just as he started to experience it, a group of people caused ripples to disturb him. He was almost broken out of this state. Ignoring them, Long Chen continued to sweep according to his previous rhythm. His spiritual strength wrapped around the broom. However, he found that the damage was difficult to repair. The more he tried to maintain that feeling, the more it slipped away from him. Like sand in the hand, the tighter he held it, the faster it flowed through his fingers. Hey, brat, are you deaf? Just as he was persevering to maintain this state, that duck voice man barged over to Long Chen and shouted in his ear. Long Chen's fury instantly soared. At that moment, any of that feeling vanished. It was like he was woken from a dream. A vein throbbed on his forehead. When the heart is covered in dust, desire blinds the eye. Anger rages through the soul. When the heart is not clear, you cannot see your path, and every step is difficult. Long Chen took a deep breath and muttered to himself. After a bit, his anger was slowly suppressed, and that feeling slowly resurfaced. That sweeping elder had imparted something that was not necessarily a kind of cultivation method, but a principle of pursuing a small path of the Tao until it encompassed the entire Tao. If Long Chen could comprehend it, mastering this one piece would be equivalent to mastering everything. That was why Long Chen was trying to hold on as much as possible. Fuck, I'm talking to you. That person grabbed Long Chen's collar when he saw this beggar-like person muttering to himself. Every step is difficult. Fuck you. Long Chen's fury exploded beyond control. Unable to maintain that state, Long Chen slapped this person in the face. His face caved in and blood splashed. Without even being able to make a grunt, he was sent flying. You bastards. You want to die. I'll send you to the path of reincarnation for free. Long Chen roared like a furious lion. Amongst this group of youngsters was a middle-aged man. That man furiously shouted, Brazen brat, 
You don't know how to respect your elders. Capture him. Following his orders, the dozens of young people around him charged forward, pouncing on Long Chen from every direction. Unexpectedly, these youngsters were at the ninth vestige of the Divine Flame Realm. Their Divine Flames raged once they attacked. Bang. Ah. I hear as soon as those people pounced on Long Chen, the sound of bones breaking and screams rang out. In the blink of an eye, those people were on the ground. Although their auras were powerful, it seemed that their combat experience was lacking. There were hundreds of openings in their moves, let alone Long Chen, even Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others were easily able to defeat them. Their combat power was as weak as sheep. Brazen Disciple this heaven master will the middle-aged man suddenly unleashed his powerful aura, but just as his aura was unleashed, he was slapped in the face, stars revolved in his eyes, and heaven and earth seemed to spin around him, bang, Long Chen kneed him in the abdomen, he coughed up a mouthful of blood and curled up like a shrimp, Long Chen grabbed hold of him and then slapped him like it was free, twenty slaps were finished in one moment, and his head swelled like a pig's. It seemed that Long Chen had managed to vent his anger, and he gradually returned to calm. When your mood is good, the entire world becomes bright. When your mood is bad, the world becomes dark. Senior's words are truly priceless gems. Seeing those people lying on the ground, Long Chen nodded. He felt even greater reverence for that sweeping elder. He also understood just how much effort the elder had put into helping him comprehend this. Understanding was one thing but actually doing it was another matter. Long Chen, have you seen the Nine Flower Envoy? Just at this moment, Heaven Master Yun Yang was leading a group of people this way. Midway through, he saw the people lying on the ground. Seeing the middle-aged man's current state, he exclaimed, Heaven Master Ji Li, is that you? That Heaven Master Ji Li, the middle-aged man, struggled to climb up. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, with a dozen teeth included. Little bastard, you, he pointed at Long Chen and cursed. In his rage, a rune appeared on his forehead. He seemed to be summoning some ultimate move. As a result, a lightning spear appeared in Long Chen's hand. In front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes, he pierced Heaven Master Ji Li's chest. Long Chen was as quick as lightning, striking with no warning at all. By the time everyone reacted, Heaven Master Ji Li was lifted into the air by the lightning spear. Ignorant rat, if you dare to say any more arrogant words, Boss Long San will send you to the Yellow Springs today. If you don't believe me, you can try it. I see killing intent simmered in Long Chen's eyes. He was like a death god calmly looking at his prey. Long Chen, you can't. This is an envoy from the Nine Flower sect they came to discuss the Tao with us, exclaimed Heaven Master Yan Yang. He cried out inside. Just how did Long Chen appear here? And how did the Nine Flower Envoy suddenly show up here? He knew Long Chen's character far too well. Ji Li's life was now in Long Chen's hands, and if Long Chen wanted to kill him, no one could stop him. The Nine Flower Envoy had appeared without giving prior notice. At the gate, they showed their status, and the disciples in charge of receiving them sent a report, as well as telling them that others could receive them. However, Ji Li and the others refused to wait and barged through just in time to see Long Chen. The result was as such. Long Chen didn't seem to hear Heaven Master Yun Yang's words. He stared coldly at Ji Li who was filled with shock and rage. But Long Chen's gaze made him afraid. He clenched his teeth and spat out. Fine. I, Ji Li, admit defeat. Chapter 3050 Young Master Chang Chuan Only when Ji Li admitted defeat did Long Chen slowly pull out the lightning spear. A bloody hole that was chaired black was left in his chest. As for the disciples of the Nine Flower sect that were on the ground, they struggled to crawl up. They no longer had their arrogant appearance and only stared in shock at Long Chen. Ji Li's face was dark. With some one-handed seals, the wound on his chest rapidly healed. His cultivation base was actually extremely high, but Long Chen didn't give him any chance to display it. Senior Apprentice Brother Ji Li Although it was awkward, Heaven Master Yun Yang could only thicken his face. No need. My Nine Flower sect came with good intentions to discuss the Tao, but we didn't expect to get this treatment. Starting now, the Nine Flower sect is no longer allied with the High Firmament Academy. We'll meet at the Tao Discussion Convention. 
Ji Li snorted coldly, swinging his sleeve. He left. Those disciples hastily followed. Once Ji Li and the others left, Heaven Master Yun Yang sighed. The Nine Flower Sect's envoy was arranged by the Academy for you. It was to give you experience when it comes to discussing the Tao, so that you aren't caught unprepared for the Tao discussion at the convention. Novaloon.com The Nine Flower Sect and the High Firmament Academy were both bottom rankers for the Nine Prefecture Convention's Tao discussion. Their instructor cores were originally on good terms and would always have some practice rounds with each other before the convention as preparation. However, who would have thought that they would be driven out by Long Chen? Now Heaven Master Yun Yang was in an awkward position. People like that are capable of discussing the Tao? They themselves don't understand the Tao. So how are they supposed to transmit it? Anyone who thinks themselves to be above others has already fallen and cannot discuss the Tao, said Long Chen. Whether it was the middle-aged man or the disciples, they were all exceedingly arrogant. Rather than discussing the Tao, it seemed as if they had come to mess around. Long Chen didn't know how many real characters he had encountered in his lifetime. As for people like that, they were nothing. In Long Chen's eyes, the only ones that could truly be called masters, existences that he truly esteemed from his soul, were Yun Shang, Qing Shu, Mo Li, Zi Yang, and Han Wei, the five sovereigns. In the immortal world, the only one he esteemed was the sweeping elder. He found him to be truly unfathomable and wise. As for the others, although there was admiration and respect, he wouldn't call them masters. Long Chen was originally feeling a bit uneasy about the Tao discussion, as the caliber of his opponents was unknown. But if even people like Ji Li were participating, then he felt much more confident. Heaven Master Yun Yang had nothing to say in reply to Long Chen. They also knew Ji Li's character. He was easy to anger, but he didn't have a bad heart. However, Having repeatedly met setbacks in the Tao discussion, he started to feel a bit inferior. His arrogance was an outer road to cover that feeling. In any case, he had participated in the Tao discussion many times, and ignoring his results, he had plenty of experience. He had some areas where he had unique viewpoints, which gave his words extra sharpness, and he liked to nitpick. That was why the Academy had invited him over to give Long Chen some training but they hadn't expected such a thing to occur. Not good. The Nine Flower Envoy. They've been killed. Suddenly, a disciple ran over. Terrified. What what happened? The Nine Flower Envoy has just left the academy when they encountered senior apprentice brother Chang Chuan returning to the academy. They didn't get off to a good start. And after just a few words, they started fighting. Heaven Master Ji Li unleashed his full power but was still unable to last more than three exchanges against senior apprentice brother Chang Chuan before his head was cut off, reported the disciple. Young Master Chang Chuan, Heaven Master Yun Yang and the others' expressions changed. Even Long Chen was shocked. That mysterious rank 2 expert on the earth rankings had actually appeared at this time. Based on this, he was truly powerful. The only reason that Long Chen had defeated Ji Li in one move was because he hadn't given him a chance to unleash his cultivation base. But young master Ji Li had killed him in three moves even when he had unleashed his full power. That showed just how powerful he was. That's not good. I'll go take a look. Heaven master Yun Yang was about to rush off. No need. Just at this moment, the void shuddered, and a white-haired man appeared out of nowhere. Light flowed around him and there was a sun behind him. There was also an illusory image within that sun. The light of the sun set him off, making him appear particularly exceptional. He was tall with hair that reached his shoulders. His entire face looked like it had been carved out of flawless jade. Even Long Chen had to admit that he was truly handsome, almost perfect. He himself was far inferior. Young Master Chang Chuan, you've awakened a primal bloodline. Congratulations Heaven Master Yun Yang stared in shock at the manifestation behind Young Master Chang Chuan. That is a primal manifestation only then did Long Chen's gaze focus on the sun. Looking closely at it, he saw the image within it suddenly change. A pair of eyes appeared. Those were not human eyes, and he couldn't tell what life form it was. When those eyes appeared, a sharp killing intent appeared. Long Chen felt like two sharp swords were shooting from those eyes and entering his soul. Boom. 
Ripples exploded between Long Chen and Young Master Chang Chuan. Because of it, Heaven Master Yun Yang and the others cried out in shock. Even Heaven Master Yun Yang and the others felt their souls quiver. Those ripples almost tore through their spiritual defenses. Both Long Chen and Young Master Chang Chuan suddenly retreated a few steps. Both shocked. Dragon blood power. Full moon rhinoceros the instant their souls clashed. Long Chen saw the image of a full moon rhinoceros. However, it was different from others that he had seen. It was incomparably large. Standing within the starry sky and surrounded by endless stars. Its body seemed to be even bigger than the starry sky. Furthermore, the direction it was looking toward was a full moon. Within that moon, he saw a mass of primal chaos. However, before he could get a closer look, a dragon roar came from his soul, and the image shattered. Although it was just one instantaneous clash, both Long Chen and young master Chang Chuan were shaken. I didn't expect that you have true dragon essence blood. The dragon soul protects you. Then I don't have any advantage over you. Do you dare to have a fight? Battle intent sword out of young master Chang Chuan. Chapter 3051 The Rainbow Crane Races Gift Upon hearing this, Heaven Master Yun Yang and the others' expressions changed. Long Chen, Xu Chang Chuan, and Bei Shishi were their main force in the Nine Prefecture Convention. They could not be fighting amongst themselves. I'm not interested Long Chen shook his head. As an expert, you must face challenges. If you're such a coward, how are you qualified to pursue fairy shishi? Demanded Xu Changchuan. Long Chen scoffed. How laughable. Who said that I'm pursuing Bei Shishi? And does pursuing someone require qualifications? Well, whatever. I won't argue with a child. I've grown past that competitive age. It would be best if you didn't provoke me because I'm very busy. Long Chen waved his hand, and ignoring everyone else, he lowered his head and started sweeping once more. Are you looking down on me? Shouted Xu Changchuang. Long Chen didn't raise his head or even look at him. He just continued sweeping with his head down. Seeing this, Xu Changchuan clenched his fists, and his manifestation quivered. However, he had his own pride. If Long Chen didn't want to fight with him, he wouldn't force it. Long Chen, there will be a battle between us sooner or later. Just wait. He snorted and left, watching him leave. Heaven Master Yun Yang sighed. He also led his group away. Everyone else was gone, but Long Chen continued slowly sweeping. When the leaves were piled together, a light breeze blew by, scattering the leaves. All his previous efforts were wasted. Long Chen stared for a moment before a smile slowly came across his face. Just at this moment, the sweeping elder returned. How do you feel? He asked. Long Chen gratefully said. Many thanks for your pointers, senior. I feel excellent. To not judge based on results. To not decide success or failure. The heavenly deos are fair. As long as you work hard, you will definitely have gains. However, sometimes those gains are visible and sometimes they're not. I also understand that what I see before me is not necessarily true. Just because I can't see something doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. A single broom could sweep away the dust in front of me and let me see a new world. I will remember the kindness of this pointer. Having his progress interrupted midway had infuriated him. It felt like all his work was for nothing. That feeling was terrible. However, now he had a new feeling. Even if something ultimately failed, it didn't mean that there were no gains. Long Chen's mental state had been enlightened to a far wider view, so the shadow of his defeat on the Martial Heaven continent also dissipated. He finally walked free from that shadow. In that battle, many people had died and the Martial Heaven continent itself was destroyed. But ultimately, most of them lived. He had accomplished what the Martial Heaven continent entrusted to him. Furthermore, through that battle, he also recognized the areas he was lacking in. Thus, in life, there were also gains and losses. If you gained something, you also lost something. In the same vein, if you lost something, you also gained something. If you spent all day mired in thoughts of what you lost, that would be the greatest foolishness. A pointer? No, this is no pointer. That is because if right and wrong cannot be determined, who would be so presumptuous as to talk about pointers? The elder shook his head. He received his broom back and once more started sweeping. Right and wrong. Good and evil. Is there a line separating them? 
If there is, who decides that? Is that person definitely right? Did that person make that line with a bias toward themselves and their own actions? If there are rules, then there will be holes. If there are no rules, then chaos reigns. Where did everything come from then? Life, the deos, the laws of the world? Perhaps only the ruler could say. Have you thought about being the ruler? Senior Long Chen was startled. The elder's words seemed to contain some mystery behind them. It was as if he was passing on something to Long Chen. But after he said this, he vanished. It was as if he was speaking to both Long Chen and himself, befuddling Long Chen. His words seemed to relate to an even higher level secret. Long Chen didn't know if this counted as a subtle warning. After pondering it for a long time, he was still unable to figure out the elder's intentions. According to the elder, there was no such thing as right or wrong in this world. There were only different viewpoints. Big Brother Long Chen. Just as Long Chen was in thought, a young voice rang out and woke him from his stupor. Rainbow light flew around him. At this moment, a rainbow crane appeared in front of him. The rainbow crane then transformed into a young girl. Her beautiful eyes were like stars in the night sky. Seeing Long Chen, she smiled so excitedly that her eyes became crescent moons. Big brother, I came to find you. This girl was a transformation of the rainbow crane. He had seen her before at the gates to the inner academy. It was the girl who called him a good person. However, today, it was just her. Her companions weren't there. So she immediately hugged him. Long Chen's inner heart was originally a bit heavy due to the elder's final words. However, this girl's smile infected him. Something beautiful could make a person forget all their vexations. The girl grew even happier when Long Chen hugged back. Hearing her tinkling laughter, Long Chen felt his entire body relax. Big brother, let me tell you, that grandpa is really amazing. The girl whispered into Long Chen's ear. The sweeping grandpa asked Long Chen. Yes. Our rainbow crane race lives a long time. From the time when I was born until now, I already saw three generations of Dean's leave. But that sweeping grandpa has seen nine generations of our race. When our first generation patriarch arrived here, that grandpa was already sweeping the ground, whispered the girl as if she didn't want anyone else to hear. Long Chen was shocked. Although he had felt this sweeping elder to not be ordinary, he had never expected him to have lived for so long. The elder was practically a living fossil. This girl had seen three generations of deans. But the sweeping elder had seen nine generations of the rainbow crane race? Long Chen didn't dare to even think of how old this sweeping elder was. Ah, my mom is calling me back. It's over. I definitely said too much. The girl's expression suddenly fell. Long Chen didn't know what had happened. He also didn't know how to console her. So he just looked at her. She suddenly extended a hand, and a feather appeared. It was black and white, and yet rainbow light shone around it. Novaloon.com My mom told me to give this to you. She said it might be useful to you. Big brother, I have to go. Next time, I'll come to find you to play. The girl reluctantly waved goodbye to Long Chen. She transformed back into a rainbow crane and flew away. Original true feather. When Long Chen looked at the feather she had left in his hand. His whole body shook. Chapter 3052 Someone from the Luo family The feather in Long Chen's hand was an original true feather. It was the most precious feather of a rainbow crane, equivalent to a true dragon's reverse scale. The rainbow cranes were blessed by the heavenly deos, and legend was that their feathers were auspicious signs. The rainbow crane race almost never interacted with the human race, so their original true feather was something that only existed in legends. Almost no one had ever seen it before. Holding the original true feather and feeling the energy within it, Long Chen instantly realized that he could absorb its auspicious energy. If I use it, it will call down a blessing of the heavens. All 10,000 deos will merge, and the world will be under my control. Long Chen muttered to himself. Just holding it, he could tell what kind of phenomena would occur when it was activated. The heavenly deos were the most unfathomable existence in this world. But with this original true feather, by using the rainbow crane race's auspicious blessing, he could achieve a level of complete control. Long Chen almost didn't dare to believe that such a power existed. This gift from the rainbow crane race is too precious. Long Chen looked in the direction that the crane girl had gone. 
she had actually sent him a life-protecting talisman. Although he didn't know the exact effect of this original true feather, he was certain that it possessed the power to shake heaven and earth. He put away the original true feather solemnly. Just as he was leaving, he heard hurried footsteps rushing over. He turned to see Luo Bing and Luo Ning running over. Long Chen, our Luo family's protector course has sent a commander over, reported Luo Bing. Previously, Long Chen's spirit awakening pills had helped the two of them awaken their bloodline power. Hence, Luo Bing had sent word back to the family, and now the family finally managed to send people over. Working together with Long Chen was an extremely important matter to the Luo family. Now it was time to discuss it. In the Outer Academy, Long Chen met this expert of the Luo family. He was a handsome man who looked to be in his thirties, and he stood as straight as a ramrod, like a javelin. His eyes were calm, but there was a light within them like a sheathed sword. Despite him not unleashing any aura, Long Chen felt immense pressure from him. He wore white robes, giving him a feeling of transcending the mortal world yet also a feeling of closeness. You must be Mr. Long Chen. From the moment I set foot into the martial heaven domain, I've heard of your name. Such a promising junior is truly rare. This man was Luo Chang Wu. He praised Long Chen, his expression sincere. It was not just an elaborate praise for courtesy. Long Chen, let me introduce you. This is our Luo family's protector corpse commander and also our family head second son. He definitely has the authority to make decisions in the Luo family, said Luo Bing. Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. The family had second son? Then wasn't this his mother's big brother? His own uncle? No wonder he felt such a sense of closeness with just a look. Junior Long Chen greets Senior Long Chen hastily greeted him according to the proper etiquette of a junior. Seeing him be so courteous, Luo Bing and Luo Ning were delighted. Considering Long Chen's untamable character, he didn't give anyone face. They had been worried about this matter collapsing due to this, so they were very grateful that Long Chen was so humble. They actually thought that Long Chen was giving them face by being so polite to him. Luo Changwu immediately propped Long Chen up, smiling. Junior brother, there's no need to be so courteous. To be honest, my Luo family was rude to you this time. After receiving the news, we should have come sooner. After all, this matter relates to my Luo family's fate. We don't dare to tarry. However, there were two intense battles against the Chu family during this time. I could only rush over here after dealing with those trifles, wasting quite a bit of time. Actually, my big brother should have been the one to come this time, but he was injured during those battles, so I was sent instead. I hope you won't blame us. We've fought against the Chu family again, asked Luo Bing in surprise. Luo Changwu waved his hand. Nothing more than some crooked dishonesty from the Chu family. We didn't want you to be distracted by such a thing. So we didn't inform you. Luo Bing and Luo Ning's expressions changed somehow. Even the son of the family head had been injured. So that was definitely not a minor scuffle. Seeing their expressions, Luo Changwu softly said, You're good children. You want to carry the burden of the family. But now isn't that time yet. Now. You need to work hard on your cultivation and grow up quickly. Don't worry, the family has my father and us holding it up. The family is still safe and steady. Just properly cultivate. As for Luo King Gaiang, don't blame yourselves. The Luo family has tens of millions of disciples. For one or two to get befuddled is natural. It has nothing to do with you two. Luo Bing and Luo Ning instantly thought of those disciples that had died because of Luo King Gaiang and lines of tears dripped down their faces. They had always felt a great deal of guilt over this matter. All right, we can discuss this matter later. Won't this junior brother laugh at us if we get so emotional? Let's talk business. After comforting them, Luo Changwu looked at Long Chen. Junior brother, your spirit awakening pills are very important to our Luo family. Our Luo family will work with you frankly. Just tell me what you want in exchange. As long as it is within our limits, the Luo family will not refuse. If this was a negotiation, then this would be sticking out his own neck to be slaughtered. But Luo Changwu was a very smart person and instantly saw through Long Chen's general character. He had investigated what had happened in the Martial Heaven Prefecture since Long Chen's arrival, 
and so he was confident enough to directly toss out the Luo family's sincerity. To put it frankly, it was an attitude of if you had to slaughter me, then slaughter me. I wouldn't retaliate. The question was whether or not you would be embarrassed to do such a thing. Long Chen looked at Luo Changwu, his uncle, and felt a mix of emotions. He didn't know what to say. A price? What kind of price? Could they possibly pay the price that he wanted? If he wanted to know his mother's whereabouts, would they tell him? The Luo family had tossed his mother to the land of bitter cold, leaving her life up to fate. He didn't even know if he should hate them or not. Luo Changwu was a bit curious about Long Chen's complicated gaze. It seemed that there were many things hidden in his deep eyes. Luo Bing and Luo Ning both got nervous. I'm not lacking anything right now, so I don't know what to ask for. How about I give you the secret formula for the medicinal pill, and your Luo family will owe me a debt? Asked Long Chen after a long moment of thought. Chapter 3053 Dragon King Reverse Scale That Luo Changwu was caught in a difficult position. If it was a different power, they would definitely accept. But the Luo family did not rashly promise to owe someone a favor. A favor could be big or small. There was no way to appraise the value of such a thing. This was a difficult request. If Long Chen wanted treasures, resources, secret tomes, divine weapons, then as long as the Luo family had them, then they could discuss it. But a favor? Don't worry. I, Long Chen, have my own pride. I will not hold you hostage with a favor. I won't do anything to damage your foundation or throw your future in danger, said Long Chen. This only made Luo Changwu feel even more embarrassed. Long Chen was being so generous, making the Luo family appear petty. All right, as long as Junior Brother has some request, just tell us. As long as it is something that the Luo family is capable of. We will definitely not disappoint you, said Luo Changwu. Although he said it brazenly, he held back a bit. That was because on the way here, he had heard that Long Chen was someone who acted regardless of laws or rules. No one knew what he might do, so he couldn't promise anything. This is the pill formula. I have also refined hundreds of these pills myself. Luo Ning told me that the Luo family also has quite a few outstanding alchemists. So with these pills as a sample, it shouldn't be difficult for the Luo family to begin producing spirit awakening pills, said Long Chen. Taking out a leather hide and a small bottle, Luo Changwu received the pill formula solemnly. Even he was moved by this pill formula. It was far too important to the Luo family. Once he received the pills from Long Chen, he found that they were all top grade spirit pills. There were even a few treasure pills. So Luo Changwu once more thanked Long Chen. Although he was aware that Long Chen was an alchemist, someone capable of refining top grade pills at such an age was truly as rare as a phoenix feather or killin horn. As for a youth capable of refining treasure pills, that was even rarer. My spirit awakening pill is my own special formula. It isn't split by realm. Even if someone has missed their golden period, they can still awaken their spirit. Furthermore, even if someone has gone through spirit awakening, they can undergo a second spirit awakening with this pill. However, the effect will be up to each individual, said Long Chen. That, Luo Changwu was shaken by this. The Luo family's disciples should awaken their spirits during the mortal transcendence realm. That was their golden time. After missing it, they wouldn't undergo spirit awakening ever. Furthermore, due to some accidents in the Luo family, their spirit pool was unable to provide for enough people. Hence, many disciples with only average talent were not able to undergo spirit awakening, resulting in their combat power dropping. However, Long Chen's pill could not only allow them to awaken their spirits after missing their golden period, but it could also allow those who had undergone a low-level spirit awakening to undergo a second spirit awakening. The effect of this medicinal pill was absolutely heaven-defying. If that really is the case, my Luo family owes you a truly immense debt. Luo Changwu took a deep breath. If it really was as Long Chen said, then even the elders of the Luo family could undergo another spirit awakening. In that case, the Luo family's overall power was about to multiply. This was something he didn't even dare to dream of. Junior brother, if you have anything else to say, please go ahead. 
Luo Changwu noticed that Long Chen hesitated and wanted to say something several times, so he spoke up curiously. Long Chen hesitated once more. In the end, he didn't ask about his mother. He felt that now still wasn't the time to expose himself. I wish to ask Senior to help me protect my secret, but I also feel like that superfluous Long Chen shook his head. This was just to cover up his previous actions. Of course, this will be treated as the top secret in the Luo family. We won't leak it, said Luo Changwu Novaloon.com. Long Chen nodded. After the Nine Prefecture Convention, I want to go pay my respects to the Luo family if Junior Brother comes. My Luo family will welcome you with everything we have. Speaking of which, during the Nine Prefecture Convention, be careful around the Chu family, said Luo Changwu. What? Isn't the Chu family now very subdued? Luo Bing and Luo Ning were surprised. It had to be known that after the Jilin Immortal Lands incident, they had been ripped out of the academy for trying to kill Baishishi and the other disciples. Even Lord Brahma wouldn't say anything about it because those people were nothing more than a pack of weak dogs. The Chu family had then gathered the other powers and demanded an explanation from the academy, all without express orders from above. But they were then driven away by Long Chen. For the Chu family to fake receiving orders, they had probably drawn a great deal of trouble for themselves. How could they have the time to cause trouble for others? You're still too young. The Chu family's roots go far deeper than you can imagine. Furthermore, they engage in all kinds of business in the dark. There are many areas we don't have information on. If you underestimate them, you will definitely suffer. According to our intel, the Chu family is in a rush to regain face after this loss. So they have sent six of their greatest heavenly geniuses to the Nine Prefecture Convention. Their goal goes without saying. So you have to be careful, said Luo Changwu. Are these experts even stronger than Chu Yang? exclaimed Luo Bing. They will only be stronger. There might even be primals. If you can't beat them, then just directly admit defeat. Do not put up any meaningless resistance, ordered Luo Changwu sternly. Primals. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were shocked. How could the Chu family have primals? That's why I said that the Chu family's foundation isn't something you can imagine. But don't worry, our Luo family will send out our experts to accompany you. But this is the grandest nine prefecture convention ever because the championship prize this time is enough to drive others crazy. What prize? Long Chen couldn't help asking. It is said that the prize is a golden dragon scale. The rumor is that it is a Dragon King's reverse scale. That is an absolutely priceless treasure. On my way here, I heard of countless hidden monsters coming out for this prize. It will definitely be an exceptionally intense battle, said Luo Changwu. Golden Dragon Scale. Long Chen's heart pounded wildly. Just at this moment, a voice rang out in his mind. Obtain it. That is my descendant's reverse scale. With it, you can summon the golden battle armor. Your physical body will be thousands of times stronger, and you will be able to truly utilize your cultivation technique. Senior Long Chen was shocked, not having expected the dragon expert to be able to speak to him. However, no matter how he called out, there was no further response. All right, this golden dragon scale is mine. Long Chen clenched his fists, battle intent soaring within him. Chapter 3054 An Accompanying Treasure? For the dragon expert to call attention to it, that golden dragon scale definitely wasn't ordinary. Was it its descendant's reverse scale? It definitely knew something. Right now, Long Chen could be said to be an encyclopedia of knowledge. He was no longer that rookie who had just set foot into the immortal world. The dragon race was the emperor of all beasts. When the dragon might was unleashed, other than a few ancient species, almost all beast races had to submit. However, there were many branches of the dragon race and many mixed bloods as well, which resulted in some low-level dragon blood races. Anyone possessing the slightest trace of the dragon race's bloodline would be called a dragon. Thus, many people didn't know just how powerful the true dragons were. The true dragons were the true rulers of the dragon race, the most original beings of the dragon race. They possessed the purest bloodline. When a true dragon was born, its entire body was green, and so they were called green dragons. After growing up and undergoing the dragon tribulation, their scales turned white, 
They were then called Azure Dragons. The Azure Dragons were fully mature true dragons. Only after growing up and becoming Azure Dragons did they gain the ability to cultivate. It could be considered the human race's G gathering realm, the very initial foundation. Through cultivating, they could inherit bloodline divine abilities. After nine nine tribulations, their 108,000 scales would receive the baptism of heaven and earth, taking on the foundation of the 10,000 deos. Their scales would also transform, becoming golden. At that point, they were called golden dragons, also known as dragon kings. The tribulations for true dragons were extremely terrifying, and even for the true dragons with their powerful physical bodies, the chances of them surviving the tribulation were very low. The odds were less than 1 in 10. The true dragon race's tribulations were challenges against the laws of the heavenly deos. Other people went through tribulation within the scope of the heavenly deos laws, but the true dragons wanted to suppress the heavenly deos and surpass them. Such a tribulation style resulted in death if they did not succeed. This was the pride of the true dragon race. Either they surpassed the laws of heaven and earth, or they died trying. Rather than being a bird trapped in a cage or a fish caught in a net, they would rather die. Thus, a true dragon's reverse scale not only contained their pure essence blood, but it also contained their supreme will. To obtain that inheritance required its approval. In the immortal world, there were very few true dragon reverse scales around. Even if there were, they were passed down, not forced to submit. In order to subdue it, you required its approval and had to be in the same realm. If you were far stronger than it and tried to subdue it, it would explode to prevent being under someone else's control. As a result, the true dragon reverse scales that did exist were preserved quite well. No one could subdue them, so they could only be stared at. Most of those reverse scales were only green dragon reverse scales. Azure dragon reverse scales were very rare. As for golden dragon reverse scales, the reverse scales of dragon kings, one might not appear in tens of thousands of years. For the nine prefecture conventions championship prize to be a dragon king reverse scale, it was something that drove countless people crazy. Anyone who viewed themselves as a heavenly genius would hope to have fate with that dragon scale. Long Chen's Azure Dragon Reverse Scale was obtained in the lower plane, and the current Azure Dragon battle armor was starting to lag behind his requirements. With his divine flames activated, the battle armor couldn't endure their power. Because of this, he hadn't even managed to fully activate the six-star battle armor last time. Moreover, in the Jilin Immortal World, most of his power had ended up leaking into the air. When he tried to summon the six-star battle armor, he ended up wasting almost 90% of his energy. Although as his cultivation base grew, his physical body also grew stronger. His divine flames were growing even faster. In order to control his divine flames, he had to strengthen his physical body. That was why Long Chen was so crazily planting the Wood Foundation divine trees. That way, even if he tore his own body apart at the same time, he could continue fighting. Since this was the case, this Dragon King reverse scale was the treasure he needed the most urgently. He had to pay any price to obtain it. It seems that Junior Brother is very motivated. But watch out. This 9 Prefecture Convention is different from the past ones. Due to the bait being so great, it's unknown just how many eyes are on it. Also, due to certain reasons, the High Firmament Academy is standing alone there. You will definitely be targeted. So make sure that you're mentally prepared warned Luo Changwu. Senior, don't worry. Junior understands. As long as their cultivation bases are within the same realm, I'm not afraid of anyone, said Long Chen. Good. Youngsters should possess such heroism. Luo Changwu laughed. Junior brother, these medicinal pills are very important to my Luo family. I can't waste time, so I'll leave now. If you need anything, inform Binger and she will send word. Let me say it again. As long as it's something that the Luo family can do, we will not shirk our duty. Let us meet again. Long Chen cupped his fists to send him off. Once Luo Changwu left, Long Chen sighed and bitterly smiled inside. This uncle of his was straightforward and upright. He was also very capable and steady. But Long Chen wondered, the next time they met, would they be friends or foes? When it came to his mother's family, he became hesitant and worried. 
Even though he could face battle without batting an eye, not all things in this world could be resolved with martial power. After sending off Luo Changwu, he returned to the Inner Academy. Due to young master Chang Chuan's return, the entire Inner Academy became lively. Some female disciples in particular were in high spirits. That made Long Chen laugh. If young master Chang Chuan was judged simply from his outer appearance, it truly would be a case of a peerless piece of jade. This person was truly handsome and yet not at all womanly. The title of the High Firmament Academy's number one handsome man was not for nothing. However, when he returned, he was infuriated. His guild's people had all been killed in the Jilin Immortal Land. Now he was the only one left, so he had to gather new people and rebuild his forces. Not surprisingly, many female disciples applied. Watching the bustling crowd in the Inner Academy, Long Chen suddenly felt a burst of loneliness. He found that it really was difficult to integrate himself into the Academy. Despite forming good relations with many people, he still felt incompatible. Loneliness wasn't the result of having no one beside you. It was the result of having many people beside you without feeling the slightest warmth. The current him was missing his family more and more. Boss, my mom told me to come find you. She says that she wishes to give you a treasure to accompany you as thanks. Just as Long Chen was lost in a stupor, Bei Ziaol ran over to him excitedly. Chapter 3055 Black Saw Air Long Chen noticed that Bei Ziaol had some new silver body armor on and he seemed extremely pleased with it. Boss, look at what my aunt gave me. Bei Ziaol pointed to his armor. It's impervious to blade or spear, water or fire. It also has its own divine runes in it. It was specially made for me. Your aunt, asked Long Chen. He still hadn't fully recovered from his stupor. It's Bei Shishi's mother, said Bei Ziaol. Long Chen nodded. However, rashly accepting gifts like this wasn't something Long Chen had no shame over. However, Bei Ziaol refused to let him off, saying that someone who could take advantage but didn't was a fool. Hence, Long Chen followed him to see his mother. Bei Ziaol's mother smiled when they arrived. Long Chen, Ziaol was helped by you. You've pulled out a stake in our hearts, and such a favor cannot be forgotten. I heard that you are lacking a weapon for the Nine Prefecture Convention. My husband and I have fought others for many years. So we have quite a bit of leftovers that you can check. As she waved her hand, balls of light appeared in the air. Every ball contained a divine weapon. Those weapons seemed a mix of illusory and real within those balls. But the divine energy fluctuations of those weapons continued to come through. Making Long Chen's soul shake. Spears. Sabers. Swords. Halberds. Ropes. Rings. Towers. Rods. And dozens of other kinds of weapons appeared. It was a dazzling sight. These are all treasure items. In the immortal world, above spirit items were treasure items. The greatest difference between them was the power of their item spirit. A spirit item's item spirit could assist the user and increase their power. However, their level was rather low. They lacked the ability to fully control themselves. But treasure items possessed terrifying power just on their own. A treasure item had a far more intelligent item spirit and was capable of controlling its one power. Some treasure items were even stronger than their masters. When their masters were in danger, they could protect them. However, they were incredibly precious. Even a genius like Chu Yang wasn't bestowed a treasure item by the family. Furthermore, becoming the master of a treasure item was very difficult. If it felt that the master was too weak, it wouldn't accept them. Forcibly subduing one would require sacrificing a great deal of spiritual and bloodline energy. Clearly, Bei Ziaol's mother was not just giving him a treasure item. She was also willing to help him subdue it. It could be said that she had invested quite a bit in this gift, showing just how grateful she was for Long Chen's help to Bei Ziaol. As for Bei Ziaol's new armor, that was something that Bei Shishi's mother had helped him subdue. With it, they were much more at ease. This upcoming Nine Prefecture Convention would not be ordinary, so they didn't dare to be careless. Boss, I heard that your sword arts are supreme. Why don't you take this sword? I feel like this sword suits you best. You can sweep through everyone with a single slash, urged Bei Ziaol, seeming even more excited than Long Chen. However, Long Chen was looking at a saber, even through the divine light. 
He could sense its sharp aura, as well as its bloodthirstiness and domineeringness. Long Chen then beckoned and the saber flew into his hand. As it rumbled, a sharp light erupted out of it. A void ripping sound also rang out. Your vision is good. This saber is called Autumn Water. When I fought its master, I was almost injured by it. The saber seems to really like you. It seems that it suits you, said Bezaiol's mother, a bit surprised. It had to be known that a treasure item required an expert to at least be at the Four Peak Realm to subdue it. But this saber was willingly throwing itself at Long Chen. It was a bit inconceivable. Long Chen shook his head. This saber doesn't suit me. My power is focused on hardness, and it is too light. Furthermore, its material has plenty of sharpness but lacks toughness. It can't endure my power. It was a good saber, but it was more of a nimble and agile build, and that wasn't his fighting style. He could only send it back. Something hard and heavy. Bezaiol's mother thought about it. She suddenly waved her hand, and a black saber appeared in front of Long Chen. What do you think about this? This is. Long Chen stared at the black saber in front of him, his heart pounding, but the light within his eyes quickly faded as he felt a pang of pain. This black saber made him think of Dragonbone Evil Moon. This companion that had fought alongside him in battle had ultimately left him. This black saber's length was about the same as Evil Moon, but it wasn't as malevolent and sinister in appearance. The heavy aura it possessed was extremely shocking though. Bezaiol was beside Long Chen, and the appearance of the black saber made space feel like it was being compressed. It was so uncomfortable that he retreated a few steps. This saber has no name, and it isn't complete either. The forger did not forge its spirit, so it has no item spirit. But its weight is astonishing, and the materials that went into it are very precious, even more so than an ordinary treasure item. I've had no use for it all this time. Do you wish to use it? Asked Bezaiol's mother. Long Chen reached out and grabbed the hilt. He slowly pulled it out of the ball of light. At this moment, the ground beneath his feet cracked. The runes on the stones lit up, but they continued to crack, as if they might completely crumble at any moment. Seeing Long Chen receive this shockingly heavy saber with one hand, Bei Ziyol's mother was shocked. His power was truly astonishing. The saber's runes lit up, growing brighter and brighter. A star diagram then slowly appeared on top of it. At this moment, immense and forceful power flowed within the saber. Suddenly, the stars vanished. Long Chen rested the saber on his shoulder. One man and one saber stood there, appearing incredibly wild and domineering. It was as if they contained endless power, power that could destroy this entire world. Many thanks, senior. I will accept this gift. Long Chen felt like he had found that old familiar feeling, and he smiled with satisfaction. His astral power hadn't destroyed the saber. Instead, its internal runes activated and seemed that they could still contain more energy. It very much suited him. With such a good weapon, he felt much more confident. After that, time passed bit by bit, and the day to move out quickly arrived. Everyone participating in the Nine Prefecture Convention gathered. Chapter 3056 Setting out just over 30 people were participating in the Nine Prefecture Convention from the High Firmament Academy. However, Long Chen was surprised that over 20 of those were unfamiliar faces. Furthermore, their auras were quite powerful. They were not inferior to Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan, and the others, but he didn't recognize a single one of them. On Long Chen's side were only Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and Bei Ziyol. Even Li Kei, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others didn't apply. That was because Luo Bing said that people like her would only be cannon fodder in the Nine Prefecture Convention. Thus, Li Kei and the others had no hope at all. However, they had all applied to watch. It was simply that they wouldn't be leaving with those actually participating. Those given spots to watch would only be informed a few days later. Furthermore, anyone who wished to watch had to take care of their own ticket fee and incidental costs. The Academy would only provide flying boats and transportation formation protectors. The cost was not small, and an ordinary person couldn't afford it. However, as Long Chen's worshippers, and considering they would get to experience the true elites of the nine prefectures, many people still chose to pay. Long Chen instantly saw young master Chang Chuan who stood out amongst the crowd. 
In the distance, there were even countless women cheering and shouting his name. They had come to send him off. TCH is having a pretty boy face so amazing, snorted Bay Ziaol a bit irritably. Long Chen patted Bay Ziaol's shoulder. Learn to appreciate beautiful things instead of having jealousy cloud your eyes. You should admit where you're inferior to others. When you're prideful, compare yourself to other people's strong points. When you're feeling inferior, bring out your own strong points to compare to others. Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan exchanged a smile. Any man would feel inferior compared to young master Chang Chuan, but Long Chen was still as calm as flat water. He, do you compare yourself to others like this as well? Asked Bei Ziaol. Me? No. I never compare myself to others because that would make me lazy, said Long Chen. Luo Ning laughed. What thick skin? Are you trying to say that you're superior in every way? Long Chen shrugged. There's nothing I can do. Being unrivaled is truly lonesome. Luo Bing and Mu Qingyan laughed, but he was truly qualified to say this. It was just that his way of joking was very amusing. Long Chen, there will sooner or later be a fight between us. I won't allow anyone to have the slightest fantasies toward Fairy Shishi, said young master Chang Chuan. The crowd fell silent when he spoke. The atmosphere grew tense. One came from a mysterious forbidden area, the unfathomable young master Chang Chuan. The other was a newcomer to the academy who soared like a shooting star and created legends. When the two of them went against each other, it instantly made everyone nervous. Long Chen frowned. Examining him, he said. Do you have something wrong with your head? You look so handsome that I don't want to slap you and ruin that image. But you keep acting like this. My mood is good right now, so I can't be bothered with you. If my mood was bad, it'd be over for you. I don't care what status or background you have. Don't force my hand. Young Master Chang Chuan frowned. Battle intent sword out of him. Then let's fight. If I lose, I will leave the academy. And Fairy Shishi will be yours. Fuck. Who do you think Fairy Shishi is to be mine just because I beat you? Long Chen laughed from anger. But just as he said this, he felt a chill on his back. As if two sharp swords were pointed at his heart. He slowly turned to see a pair of sharp, beautiful eyes glaring at him, as if they would pierce straight through him. Cough. What a misunderstanding. Fairy Shishi, you are not. Ah, how should I put it? In any case, I didn't mean it like that, said Long Chen awkwardly in the face of Bei Shishi's frostiness. The two of you should shut your mouths. Keep talking nonsense and I'll kill both of you. Smelly men should stay away from me. Bei Shishi's voice hissed out of the cracks between her teeth. She was clearly enraged. Seeing her so angry, young master Chang Chuan didn't say another word. At the same time, Long Chen curled his lips and shrugged, acting indifferent. Fairy Shishi, in truth, young master Chang Chuan spoke up after a moment of silence. Shut up. Bei Shishi was enraged, and young master Chang Chuan shut his mouth. It seemed he was very used to being scolded by Bei Shishi. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. People really did look for things that they couldn't have. With young master Chang Chuan's talent and looks, he could find any woman he wanted. But he just had to pursue Bei Shishi. Why bother? Bei Shishi had advanced to the ninth vestige of the Divine Flame Realm, and her aura was incomparably solid. Those two Divine Whisker Flame Spirit Pills clearly had an immense effect. However, there were no manifestation fluctuations around her so she clearly hadn't awakened a primal bloodline. Amongst them, only young master Chang Chuan was a primal. After asking around, it seemed that young master Chang Chuan had expressly left the academy during this time just to return to his home in that forbidden zone to awaken his primal bloodline. Awakening a primal bloodline was extremely difficult. Other than your own hard work, you needed the help of the outside world's power as well. A bit of luck also couldn't be lacking. Whoever talks about me next should be ready for me to turn hostile on them. I have said that I, Bei Shishi, need no man in this lifetime, warned Bei Shishi. The prideful Bei Shishi had actually been turned into the prize of a wager between others. Not even an ordinary person would be able to accept that, let alone Bei Shishi. What a waste, sighed Long Chen, mumbling to himself. What did you say? demanded Bei Shishi, looking as if she was going to kill him. Long Chen looked to the sky. The weather today isn't bad. 
I am the leader of the group attending this nine prefecture convention. It would be best if you all listen to my rules and give me the minimum respect, especially you, said Bei Shishi, looking at Long Chen. Long Chen rolled his eyes. When had he not respected her? After warning Long Chen and young master Chang Chuan, Bei Shishi turned to everyone else. You are disciples of the Battle God Palace. You're attending the Nine Prefecture Convention with us. So let's get familiar with each other before moving out. Only then did Long Chen realize that these unfamiliar faces were those raised by the Battle God Palace. After that, everyone exchanged names, and it could count as getting acquainted. A beautiful celestial horse descended from the sky at this time, pulling a golden war chariot. A beautiful woman then walked down from the war chariot and smiled at everyone. Warriors of the High Firmament Academy, let us set out. Chapter 3057 Who do you like? What Long Chen hadn't expected was for the one escorting them to be Bei Shishi's mother. The white celestial horse spread its transparent wings, unleashing a wave of dreamlike ripples. It was as if the entire world was no longer real. It's actually an illusion beast. Long Chen's heart shook. Whenever this celestial beast's wings shook, ripples spread. Wherever those ripples went, Long Chen felt space constantly transform. However, Long Chen knew that this wasn't the result of space changing. It was an illusion. The celestial horse race was very large, and the illusion celestial horses were their emperors, which possessed an innate ability to unleash illusions. It wasn't using a divine ability as the runes on its wings hadn't even been activated. But every light movement of its wings drew people into an illusion. Even Long Chen felt like the world was no longer real. It was severely impacting his senses. At this moment, Long Chen and the others got on the war chariot. He then waved goodbye to Zhang Ling and the others before entering. The chariot contained its own extremely large space. Long Chen found a seat beside a window, and there was a tea table there. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan sat with him. As for Bei Ziaol, he seemed very familiar with the war chariot. He pressed a button on the wall, and a door appeared with a bedroom inside. He then directly fell asleep on the bed. In truth, ever since he activated the three flower pupils, he often got sleepy. Whenever there wasn't something exciting to do, he would sleep. Long Chen knew that this was the result of his three flower pupils just being activated. He wasn't used to it yet. Having his eyes open for too long would make him feel weary since he couldn't control the three flower pupils perfectly yet. Now, energy was constantly leaking out of his eyes. He would be fine after getting used to his new power. Long Chen had also studied the three flower pupils during this time. Through Bei Ziaol, he learned this technique. But this bloodline eye art was not something he could use despite all his knowledge. There were many kinds of three flower pupils actually. Different bloodlines would activate different kinds of power from them. For example, Bei Ziaol's three flower pupils were a kind of spatial energy control. He could unleash this power on its own, or he could use hand seals to use a divine art with this power. Since Long Chen didn't have this bloodline power, his three flower pupils were entirely plagiarized. Based on how Bei Ziaol used his three flower pupils, Long Chen activated them as well. But every time, they were destroyed by that black energy. At the same time, his eyes would be left hurting for a long time. However, through this continuous testing, he finally had some slight gains. He was now testing how he could use the three flower pupils to unleash the black energy. The dragon race expert had told him that he had to constantly unleash the black energy to avoid being devoured by it. When Bei Ziaol managed to fully master his three flower pupils, Long Chen would also be able to benefit more. Now, Long Chen, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan sat by the window, drinking tea. As for Bei Shishi, her face remained cold the entire time. She sat in a corner with her eyes closed. Young Master Chang Chuan no longer had the feeling of being the moon surrounded by stars. He also found a corner to sit in, learning from Bei Shishi and meditating. The others were also silent finding their own spots and sitting. The chariot was so huge that let alone 30 people, even 300 people would be able to sit inside without feeling crowded. The celestial horse slowly left the academy. As its wings flapped, it pulled the chariot forward. Looking outside, time seemed to pass by in bouts. With every break, 
The scene changed, and in just a few moments, they had left the Academy's land. What is going on? exclaimed Lu Oning. Long Chen explained, the celestial horse is so fast that it results in spatial compression, creating disconnected spatial layers. There is a formation on the chariot that blocks the impact of this spatial pressure so you still feel very comfortable inside, but what you see outside is the result of different spastimes appearing, that's why they appear one by one. Since we're just starting, they're probably afraid we won't be able to endure the impact of this instantaneous acceleration. After a bit, this illusory feeling will fade, as expected of the High Firmament Academy's youngest heaven master in all of history. You really are knowledgeable. Just at this moment, Bei Shishi's mother walked in, smiling at LongchenNavalun.com. The battle god palace's disciples instantly stood at attention and bowed to her, treating her reverently. Bei Shishi's mother waved his hand, indicating for everyone not to stand on courtesy. She then turned to Long Chen and the others. Can I sit here? Luo Bing and the others were overwhelmed. They hastily cleared up a spot for her. Long Chen said, Big sister, please sit. Big sister, Bei Shishi's mother stared at him for a moment before laughing. You know how to talk. You can take advantage while also curry favor. Luo Bing and the others were speechless. He was truly brazen and dared to say anything. He was calling the palace master's wife big sister? Then wasn't that placing himself on the same level of seniority as the palace master, as well as putting him above Bei Shishi? Luo Ning stealthily glanced at Bei Shishi. She saw that she was acting as if she hadn't heard anything. Her face was as cold as ever. It seemed that she also didn't feel much warmth toward her mother. Bei Shishi's mother then sat down. Every single one of her movements appeared graceful and noble. Even the simple action of her sitting gave people a feeling of solemn dignity. Furthermore, she possessed a certain warmth that truly made her seem like a gentle big sister. It was very comforting. Senior, please have some tea. Mu Qingyan hastily poured a new cup of tea for her. Bei Shishi's mother nodded and smiled in thanks. After sipping it, she put down the cup and looked at Long Chen. I'm very curious. If you can talk so well and are so skilled at grasping other people's thoughts, I'm sure many people will like you. To women especially, this fresh and yet dangerous feeling you have possesses fatal attraction. You've always been mysterious, and women are all curious. I don't understand. These three beautiful women beside you all like you very much. At this point, Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan, and Luo Ning turned red. Luo Ning hastily cried out, I don't like him. Don't be anxious. Liking is liking. There's nothing embarrassing about it. I'm curious. Long Chen. Do you have anyone on this flying boat that you like? Asked Bei Shishi's mother. When she said this, everyone looked at Long Chen. What was going on? What was she trying to do? In the distance, young master Chang Chuan tensed up. Even the meditating Bei Shishi's face twitched. Chapter 3058 in Puta's Disciple Yes. Long Chen thought about it and solemnly nodded. Can you tell us who? Asked Bei Shishi's mother with a smile. Him. Long Chen pointed toward young master Chang Chuan, enraging him. The meditating Bei Shishi suddenly chortled, while Luo Bing and the others tried to hold back their laughter. It was unknown just how bitter it was to hold it back. Long Chen. I demand a dual raged young master Chang Chuan. Why? I really do like you. Long Chen shrugged. You look very beautiful, so I like to look at you a bit more. There's no need to be so hostile. Young Master Chang Chuan's hostility lightened slightly, but he was still angry. He clearly thought that Long Chen was making fun of him. Young friend, you are being a bit disingenuous, said Bei Shishi's mother with a smile that was not a smile. No, I'm very sincere. I always like beautiful things. Handsome brothers, beautiful women. I always like to look a bit longer at them. I can feel how beautiful life is at all times. As for what Senior is talking about, he, I'm not qualified to discuss it right now. Long Chen shook his head. Why aren't you qualified? asked Bei Shishi's mother. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He looked at the vague images speeding past them outside the window. Some things can't be stated clearly. Some principles also can't be discussed unequivocally. You asked me but I can't answer. Of course he wasn't qualified. He couldn't even protect his women. How was he qualified to discuss liking others? 
If he had to watch as the woman he loved died in front of him while he was powerless, then how was he qualified to like others? Seeing Long Chen's gaze suddenly become pained, Luo Bing and the others were startled. They felt a pang of grief for him. They knew that Long Chen viewed them as family, not in the romantic sense. After being with him for so long, they had also come to sense the pain hidden in Long Chen's heart. Bei Shishi's mother felt embarrassed. She originally just wanted to tease him a bit and play matchmaker between him and Bei Shishi. That was due to her understanding of her daughter. Before Long Chen appeared, Bei Shishi was constantly icy, revealing no emotion, neither joy nor rage. However, after Long Chen showed up, she went through more emotions and Bei Shishi's mother noticed that this was stimulating her bloodline power. The changes in her emotions were making her bloodline active, and in her current state, she might awaken a primal bloodline at any moment. Thus, even if she couldn't draw the two of them together as a couple, just having Bei Shishi quarrel and bicker would also be a good thing. However, she hadn't expected to touch one of Long Chen's scars. She could tell that Long Chen had gone through something that left him deeply hurt. What he had gone through wasn't something someone his age should have to go through. Brother San, don't feel bad. Didn't you say that you would be able to quickly find those sister-in-laws? Mu Qingyan held Long Chen's hand. Long Chen took a deep breath, rubbing his face with his hands. He tried to reinvigorate himself. He then smiled. Yes, everything will go well. This time, I will definitely build my fame. From the Nine Prefecture Convention. The name of Boss Long San will spread throughout the entire immortal world. Since you mentioned the Nine Prefecture Convention, let me give an introduction to some terrifying figures you will encounter there, said Bei Shishi's mother to dispel the awkward atmosphere. Everyone's ears perked up. They all wanted to know what kind of opponents they would be fighting. She said, to tell the truth, in the past, the High Firmament Academy's rankings were always at the bottom. We haven't had many disciples manage to get into the top hundred. Everyone was startled. Considering how powerful the High Firmament Academy was, just how was it possible that they couldn't even get into the top hundred? Only Long Chen's gaze was flat. He had read about this. The High Firmament Academy truly wasn't that competitive. The reasons that our performance records are so lacking is partially because we truly have never had such a powerful expert. But the other reason is because many powers are not too friendly toward us. They have created a barrier to prevent the Academy's disciples from getting into the top hundred. Everyone knows that anyone who enters the top hundred will get a bountiful reward. And they don't want the Academy to enjoy that reward. They can do that? Isn't it said that the competition system is fair and the fighting rounds are based on drawing lots? Bei Shishi's mother shook her head. This world doesn't have anything absolutely fair. Furthermore, the lots are only drawn after the top 64 are decided. Outside the top 100, it is more than possible for them to control things. I will give you all a warning here. Although it is forbidden to maliciously kill people during the competition, the malicious part is truly willful. Whether or not someone is willfully killing someone else is decided by specific people. Due to not having good relations with other powers. You should immediately give up if you fight someone that you can't beat. Don't give them a chance to kill you. I'm going to tell you a few names that you should immediately admit defeat to if you end up matched against them. Long Chen's heart shook. They should directly admit defeat? What did that mean? They weren't even qualified to fight them? One of them is called Ji Yui Yun. He comes from the Blood Kill Hall. According to the news from inside the Blood Kill Hall, he is the new final disciple of their master, Inputa. Inputa announced that he wouldn't be accepting more disciples tens of thousands of years ago, but after encountering Ji Yui Yun, he was willing to accept him as his apprentice. You can tell just how much Ji Yui Yun's talent moved Inputa. He's also an assassin and is a master of killing people in one blow. You should all know how our relationships with the Blood Kill Hall are, so if you encounter him, you should be able to imagine what would happen. Inputa's disciple, Long Chen narrowed his eyes. He had a thought that perhaps he could obtain something useful from this person's body. If I kill him, will the academy be able to handle it? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Bei Shishi's mother was startled and then laughed. If you can kill him, the academy will naturally protect you. Within the High Firmament Academy, 
Even if Imputa came, he wouldn't dare to touch you. However, if you leave the academy, all the Blood Kill Hall's assassins will have their gazes on you. You won't have a moment of rest. Other than that, do you feel like you can kill a World King's disciple? He very likely possesses heaven-defying treasures. I don't care whose disciple he is. As long as the academy can endure it, I dare to kill them. Long Chen smiled slightly. He was already at the ninth vestige of the Divine Flame Realm. As long as they were within the Divine Flame Realm, he had no fear toward anyone. Lord Brahma's dogs had to be beaten to death. Chapter 3059 Corpse Devil Dao. Ku Wuiyanavalun.com Alright, then I'll discuss the second person. His name is Ku Wuiya, and he is a cultivator of the Corpse Devil Dao. Or perhaps I should say that he isn't a person but an actual corpse. His cultivation style is extremely perverted and cruel. He consumes corpses as food, devouring their corpse chi. Hearing this, every expert present felt a chill. Luo Ning even had an urge to vomit. She could feel her stomach roiling. Corpse Devil Dao? I seem to have heard of it. Long Chen suddenly felt that he had heard of this on the Martial Heaven continent, but he didn't remember too clearly. Ku Wuaya? Are corpses bitter? So it's an endless sea of bitterness asked Long Chen. Brother San, you're making me nauseous. Originally, Mu Qingyan was still able to endure, but as soon as he said this, she almost vomited as well. Don't blame Long Chen. If you can't even endure this, you aren't qualified to participate in the Nine Prefecture Convention. The world that you've seen is too calm and peaceful. You've only seen the side that the sun shines on. But this world's shadow is far more disgusting and crueler than you can imagine. There will be countless heavenly geniuses at the Nine Prefecture Convention, and you will see all kinds of fighting styles that are completely unscrupulous. Be warned. Now, let us continue discussing Ku Wuaya. He has never faced defeat in his life. Just relying on his own power, he destroyed an entire sect that sect was not inferior to the Golden Bell Gate at all, said Bei Shishi's mother. What now it was Long Chen's turn to be shocked. Ku Wuaya was only in the Divine Flame Realm, but he had destroyed a sect on par with the Golden Bell Gate? It had to be known that the only reason Long Chen had managed to destroy the Golden Bell Gate was thanks to Shai Tongshan. The Golden Bell Gate had a Divine Lord expert standing over it. For her to say that this sect was on par with it, they also had to have a Divine Lord expert. And this Ku Wuaya had actually managed to slay such a terrifying expert? Mortal Transcendence. Divine Flame. Four Peak. Divine Lord. That was an existence two major realms above him. The difference between them couldn't be explained with reason. Although Long Chen possessed the power to slay four peak experts, that was only ordinary four peak experts of average aptitude. If it was a heavenly genius who had reached the four peak realm, he wouldn't necessarily win. As for the master of a sect, even if they weren't a primal, they couldn't be lacking too much talent. Ku Wuaya had slain a talented expert two major realms above him? That was unbelievable. How did he kill them? Asked Long Chen. It's unclear. All that is known is that this person has countless moves, and all of them are vicious. Those who fought him all died without question. He has quite a reputation within the nine prefectures, said Bei Shishi's mother. Poison. Suddenly. Young Master Chang Chuan opened his mouth, startling everyone. They all looked at him. This person controls corpse poison. On my way back to the academy, I ran into him and we fought. Everyone was shocked to hear this. He had actually fought against him and survived? Don't look at me. In that battle, I lost. My full moon race is said to be impervious to all poison, but I was still suppressed by his corpse poison. If it weren't due to my status... I might already be dead, said young master Chang Chuan darkly. To be able to fight Ku Wuaya and survive, even if you were defeated, is very amazing, comforted Bei Shishi's mother. She was a bit impressed that he was able to admit defeat. You're wrong. You weren't suppressed by his corpse poison but by his curse. His corpse poison contains the resentment of countless spirits, resulting in curse power. That curse will silently grind away at your will and destroy you from the inside. The longer the fight, the worse it gets. Think back to your battle. Did he say anything just to disturb your heart? Asked Long Chen. You, you're right. He did do that. Young Master Chang Chuan thought back to his fight. Ku Wuaya had truly provoked him with words. 
saying that he wasn't a match for him and infuriating him. Brother San, how did you know? Asked Mu Kingayan. This was too monstrous. Even without witnessing it, he was able to guess such a thing. Long Chen shook his head. I don't know if it's because I've encountered the corpse devil Dao before or if I've read about it in the academy. I have an impression of it, but I don't know where it's from. I spent these months reading almost everything within the Divine Scripture Pavilion. They're all mixed inside, and the memories aren't organized. But my intuition is telling me that this should be the case. Right now, his head was truly packed with an unimaginable amount of knowledge. It was all muddled inside due to how much he had stuffed in. He needed to slowly digest it. However, when young master Chang Chuan mentioned it, Long Chen instantly felt that he knew the true reason. So that's the case. The next time I encounter him, I'll go all out right from the start, ending the battle in just a few moves. I won't give him a chance to unleash his corpse poison. Young Master Chang Chuan clenched his fists, a sharp gaze in his eyes. Many thanks. Unexpectedly, Young Master Chang Chuan cupped his fists toward Long Chen to express his thanks. It seemed that his opinion of him had turned. However, you still shouldn't be careless. Other than Ji Yui Yun and Ku Wuaya, many other monstrous geniuses will be appearing at the Nine Prefecture Convention. At the Nine Prefecture Convention, you should focus on staying alive, not the rewards. The Academy won't give you any pressure. We just wish for you to return alive, said Beishishi's mother sternly. I'm fine either way. I'm attending to exchange blows with other experts. Victory or defeat isn't as important, said young master Chang Chuan. Beishishi slowly opened her eyes and said, This time, I must get into the top ten. Beishishi's mother frowned. That was far too difficult. Someone who hadn't even awakened a primal bloodline wouldn't be able to get into the top ten. It had to be known that in the past, the top ten were always extremely monstrous existences. Even ordinary primals would have difficulty getting into the top 32, let alone the top ten. Beishishi's mother was saying this specifically for Beishishi, Long Chen, and young master Chang Chuan. The others would definitely admit defeat if they encountered those supreme experts. But when it came to these three, it really would be a battle to the death. Long Chen, what about you? Asked Beishishi's mother. Me? I won't demand too much. As long as I get the dragon scale, I don't care about ranking. Said Long Chen very bashfully. You want first place. Beishishi's mother didn't dare to believe it, but of course, do you realize that the major powers have decided who to give the first place reward to? You won't be able to obtain it. That's also the reason why the High Firmament Academy doesn't fight for those rewards. Luo Bing and the others were startled. This was their first time hearing of such a thing. It seemed that the Nine Prefecture Convention actually had such a dark scheme behind it. I know? So what? I have an old man who told me that in front of absolute power, all schemes are useless. That dragon scale must be obtained by me, said Long Chen with a smile. That smile also contained a trace of sinisterness. Just at this moment the chariot shook slightly. Beishishi's mother snorted. Someone actually dares to block our way. Chapter 3060 Golden Crow Monster Someone is blocking our way. Everyone was startled. They were being robbed so quickly? Was that a challenge against the academy? Long Chen went to the front of the chariot and only saw mist. Whatever was happening, it was unclear. The mist was a strange tan color. Just as he looked into the depths, a scream rang out. The void was torn apart by a golden light, and a path was opened. However, blood splashed through that path, and this blood still contained immense pressure that shook his soul. This was the blood of a powerful expert. The celestial horse continued flying, quickly passing the region of mist, but they never saw who it was. They ran, asked Long Chen. If they didn't run, were they simply going to wait to be killed? Asked Beishishi's mother with a smile. Senior really is amazing. You're able to attack even through space, said Mu Kingayan with worship. It had to be known that she hadn't even formed hand seals. With just a thought, she was able to unleash such a terrifying attack? Was this not the realm that Long Chen had mentioned to Mu Qingyan? When the heart contained the sword, a single thought could kill enemies. At that time, she had thought that such a realm only existed in legends. However, Beishishi's mother had done so right in front of her. 
so she was overwhelmed with various emotions. At the same time, she felt even more admiration for Long Chen. He had spoken the truth. Bei Shishi's mother smiled at her. You are also very amazing. You've already reached the realm of sheathing your sword. You're not too far from the realm of keeping your sword in your heart. Once your heart and spirit merge, you will also be able to unleash this move. Because you are a pure sword cultivator. When you do, its power will be even greater. Mu King Gaian was shocked and delighted. Amazed by her vision. Just before leaving, Long Chen had congratulated her. Saying she had reached the realm of sheathing her sword and that the door to the sword Dao had been opened by her. However, she didn't know what this meant. When she asked him, he merely said that there was no difference between knowing and not knowing, and that rather than someone else telling her, it would be better for her sword Dao to tell her. Now even Bei Shishi's mother told her that she had reached this realm, once more proving Long Chen's words and that she was on the right track. What's the point of being so amazing if you're just going to get married off to someone that can't even beat you? Especially when it's two women sharing one man, said the distant Bei Shishi frostily. Long Chen was startled. He suddenly found that Bei Shishi was dissatisfied with her mother's marriage to Bei's Hantang. Furthermore, from her tone, it seemed that Bei's Hantang's power was inferior to his wife. Bei's idol had mentioned that Bei Shishi looked down on all men including her own father. However, Long Chen couldn't help finding it a bit comical. If her mother hadn't married her father, how would she have come to this world? Bei Shishi's mother seemed to be used to it and didn't get angry. She simply smiled. Are you saying that if someone wants to marry you, they first have to beat you? Laughed Long Chen. Young Master Chang Chuan couldn't help having some thoughts when he heard this. The one who wants to be my husband must be stronger than me and must be faithful for a lifetime. His world can only have one woman, said Bei Shishi frostily. Good thing I don't want to then, said Long Chen as if he was relieved. While this girl was pretty, she was a bit overbearing and extreme. Such behavior only allowed others to remain at a respectful distance. HMPH. Do you think a fickle-hearted man like you is rare, snorted Bei Shishi. Long Chen shrugged and didn't reply. He then thought of Meng Chi, Chu Yang, Tang Wan Er, and the others. He couldn't help smiling. He truly was fickle. Marrying any one of them would be the fortune of many lifetimes. But he had so many. What else did he need? Brother Long, I was hot-headed before and was rude to you. I apologize. Suddenly, young master Chang Chuan stood and bowed to Long Chen, stunning everyone. Long Chen couldn't help laughing. What? Do you no longer view me as a competitor? Let me tell you, as someone with more experience, there will be no conclusion between the two of you. Why not? If it was before, young master Chang Chuan would instantly be enraged. But now he was consulting him with an open mind. Because none of you know what love is. You like her simply because you like beautiful things. If she one day loses her talent, her status, and her beauty, becoming a bloated fatty or unbearably ugly, would you still love her, protect her, and view her as more important than your life? Asked Long Chen. I, young master Chang Chuan wanted to say that he would, but it seemed that he really wouldn't. Love isn't an exchange between two families who want it, nor is it a match between a talented man and a beautiful woman. It is a sacrifice. It is something ingrained in your bones, a yearning that rots the heart. It is happiness and pain intertwined. It is the moth flying into the flame. And it is what can make you die a hundred times with no regrets. Long Chen looked outside the window. His thoughts drifting away. Everyone was silent. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu King Gaian stared at Long Chen with a trace of yearning in their eyes. Was there really such a love in this world? Even the icy Bei Shishi was moved. However, she quickly turned frosty again and sneered. You put it so nicely. But you ended up with the whole harem. If you really loved them, why would you be so fickle-hearted? Loving more doesn't mean not loving deeply. Someone who has never tasted love will never know the bitterness and joy involved, said Long Chen indifferently. Just at this moment, the world turned dark, as if something was covering the sun. An immense pressure then crashed down upon them that made them turn ice cold, as if they had been dropped into a glacier. Long Chen looked up. A black crow was flying past their heads, and its wingspan covered the sky. In comparison, 
the war chariot that they were in was incredibly minuscule. The illusion celestial horse was shockingly fast, but that black crow sped off like a shooting star. It quickly passed them. A three-foot golden crow, exclaimed Long Chen. While the crow's body was black, its two claws were golden. Wouldn't a three-foot golden crow have three feet? But it only had two, asked Luo Ning curiously. Long Chen said, the three-foot part of its name refers to its three toes on each foot, not having three feet. It is similar to the five-claw golden dragon. It doesn't have five claws but five toes on each claw, except for the true dragon. Other dragons only have four toes. This was new information to most people, so they had been misled by the name. I didn't expect that old golden crow monster to appear. It seems that his descendant is also attending the Nine Prefecture Convention. It will definitely be lively now, muttered Beishishi's mother to herself as she stared in the direction the golden crow had gone. The illusion celestial horse passed by countless flying boats, war chariots, and mounts. It was also passed by others countless times. Three days later, they arrived in an ancient city. We're here.